Oh. Wow. Is it good? Fuck. <laughs> Start the show. Brown bag. Brown boom, bag. Boom, boom, boom. Episode, Episode 38. 39. 39. Oh, 39. I uh, can't wait to make it to 40. I swear to God. <laughs> 39. Wow. I'm so close to get to 40. We are so close to breaking the curse. <laughs> we are close, you guys. We are Man. close. What are you eating right now, Lady? What is this? What flavor is that? Someone brought us something. <laughs> <laughs> Great no. promo for them. <laughs> this Drips is like a cheesecake. cheesecake on a stick. It low-key looks like a paleta. Dude, it is like a Nutella flavored with like um some type of nuts. Don't be nasty. I'm gonna try this. You're probably the nastiest it is one in the so book. It's so good. This is this is a um I've been waiting to try this one. Like fruity pebble flavor? Do you know? You have to try this one. I can, man. I'm Just committed. a little bite. I'm cool. I'm okay. Oh, my Thank God. You. All right, Vic, try this one. This is fucking good. This is fucking good. Yeah, everyone, Just buddy. a little bit. Cause like, I hope you guys like Just a little bit because I legit want it all. Okay. Just a little bit, Vic. I'll fight you if you eat a little bit okay, more okay. than a little bit. You said Nutella? It tastes like Nutella. I, know I'm, I love Nutella. That's I'm not Nutella. a fan of Nutella. Right? I oh like my. that one better. I like this <laughs> one better. I'm a chocolate girl. Are you guys like the type to like eat yeah. sweets but don't finish it? Oh, no, yeah. I finish it. Like, like I like, like, oh, cool. Like, don't be like, fuck it, let's get crepes. Wow, this I'll, like, so get cool. a crepe, but I won't finish a crepe. Just, like, a few bites. Like, like, I'll just want it just for, like, the moment that I'm craving it at the moment. Or, fuck it, what's it called? But I'm like that with ice cream. Wow, that's so awesome. Oh, yeah. Like, like I'm, like, I'll get ice cream. I'll get ice cream from ice cream truck, and I'll be like, one bite, and then I'm cool. Like, I'll be over shit hella quick. Yeah, I'm not really into the. What's your, what's your go-to ice cream order at the ice cream truck? Go. Um, the shots, the green shots. Oh, you like like the eee, sour. Fuck, fuck, the one you have to open through the bottom. Yeah. At the top, green shots and hot chili with cheese. Mm. Not anymore. Mm. I usually like it in like a cone, or like when they have the what's that shit? Like a snow cone or like a cone with ice cream and like like, like an ice cream cone Got or it. what are those um the like Oreo. The chocolate, like the snow blizzards, or cho- you know what I'm talking about? I don't. Snow the blizzards. blizzards. You know At the ice cream The blue one. The blue one, yeah. The one that comes in a cup. Yeah. Gosh. That shit is so fire. Oh, my God. Can you get every time. snow blizzard? Yeah. So fire. And then it comes with the stupid little stick. Yeah. yeah. Oh, <laughs> my God. It. It's the best thing Yo, in the world. Yo, if you lose that stick, you're toast. <laughs> yeah. like that shit. <laughs> you just have to. the top part and make it a. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we all been there. <laughs> By the way, shout out Drips Cheese. Drip cheese. Drip cheesecake. Drip Drip cheesecake. Drip cheesecake. And Jonathan. I need more of these. Drip Can cheesecake. you please come to my house? <laughs> Luisito has a birthday party. You guys yeah. RZP'd? Yes. RZP'd. Later on in April. If you want, if you want. I'm saying people are going to be there. <laughs> <laughs> saying. Um, Jay-Z might come. Oh, thanks for asking me about mine. Oh, what was you? What's your, oh, thank you. What's your ice cream <laughs> uh, So I have so many. <laughs> Okay, you know how everyone likes the crumbly strawberry cheesecake one? I like the chocolate one of that. Uh, you know how there's a chocolate version? Yeah. Hater, hater ass, do know. And then... Um, so you're going to like, like you're gonna love that one. I also like Bomb Pop. No, I like the cho- the chocolate version of it. I don't like the... Oh, no, okay, gotcha, because it's like more crummy. That, that like, one's... Uh, oh, Oreo. Oh, okay. Oreo. I was confused on what you were saying. That's fire. Yeah, I don't like the strawberry shortcake one. Yeah. Okay, but like later on, I've liked it, yeah. yeah. And then the Bomb Pops... Watermelon and the sour ones, you can the never sour ones? Oh. Yeah, so gas. And then whatever the thing is, the cone with the little gum at the bottom, you guys know what I'm talking about. It's like a pink cone. I know what it's you're like talking It's like a about. pink plastic cone. And on the bottom, this is the poor person's one because it, it probably costs like the, the cheapest. It's a pink cone. It's clear plastic pink, and then pink inside. And then on the bottom, there's like a little gumball. Mm. We all know. No, don't mm me. You know I'm it trying is. To remember. <laughs> and I'm if trying you to don't, remember. then mm. clearly I'm the poorest. I forgot to see how it works. Was <laughs> start from the bottom. <laughs> I'm trying to think. I, mm. You guys, come on. I don't know. It's like a. It's, what flavor was it though? It's pink flavor. <laughs> the flavor it's is pink. Gum. It's gum. It's gum flavor. No, no. There's only a gum at the bottom. It's kind of fresh off flavor a little bit. Please say you got it. Yes. Oh. oh. But you see on the bottom how okay. the bottom it has the. This just prepared me for my. And that brain just free looks scars. like it. It doesn't really. It's not really it, but it looks okay. like it. I've never. I've never had that. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. Growing up at the block, 
like build up my tolerance brain freeze because you know as a kid with a bunch of guys you just can't do certain shit yeah so like when the, when the ice cream would come out the homie would just be biting their shit because <laughs> they don't want to like suck on the on the popsicle or like nigga because then somebody's like there you go or like <laughs> somebody just say some dumb shit so you just always got to prepare yourself to get a brain freeze around the homies when i was younger wow you could just be like Hi. <laughs> what oh oh what's your raspado order I feel oh, like we've talked about this. This is about easy. It. Raspado, vanilla, and add lechera. Ooh! And if he has fucking, um, uh, oh my God, I can't think of the fucking word. The chips. Mm. I can't think of the fucking word. Tamarindo oh. all day because the, 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 chunks, the chunks of tamarindo the, come in. The tamarindo. Uh, I know what chips you're talking about. The cart, little cartwheels. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. The, the churritos kind of there. But yeah, it's the. Oh my God, I can't think of the. Chicharron? Chicharron? Yeah. That's what we... Uh, That's we maybe there's no real name for them. No. Maybe. Little yeah, wheels. But gosh. Yeah. Um, mine is definitely the tamarindos with... Because it has chunks of tamarindo mm. in it. And I love that. I'm not a big fan of that. I love it. I like the blue fa flavor. Who knows what it actually is? Just blue. Mm. It's probably like um, or, Yeah, or the nuez. That one's always fire. Mm, that's what you're saying yeah. and then it's always dumb when you're like when you don't want it to run out so you're just crushing it like <laughs> yeah keep going back last forever <laughs> <laughs> so it lasts forever that's just lit shout out to all the raspado men shout out to the raspado men Hell and yeah. women and women facts I like how they're like so committed they're like like if you're like if you're like all the way here and you miss them and you tell them hey they'll like run back oh they'll go they're all like, the yeah. they'll super U-turn yeah or I'm sometimes not, I'm you not gotta chase them that. though I'll they do like, parties now you can rent them to like come and do your parties, like do raspados and those chips, those those mm -hmm. chicharroncitos. It's not chicharron. It's definitely not chicharron. <laughs> what the fuck's the word? So chicharron is a pig. This is not coming from a pig. Those are pig rinds. They're not pork rinds, bro. They're fake pork rinds, but the ones you put, the ones you put chile limona. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, it's something like that. It's more. It's it's more like a. It's definitely not pork rind. Bro, I don't know why I can't think of the fucking word. But. Yes. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. what's like the hood yeah, name in the name? Oh yeah, uh, for for Adam on the Okay, yeah, that makes yeah. sense. Nah, I there's a word, right? Okay, I'm tripping. Maybe I'm tripping. I'm, I'm trying to tripping. I'm trying to think of like what I call them too. Like when I and then you I can if you leave them on your tongue, they get they like suck your like it gets stuck. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> did you say that already? Yeah. Oh. For did you ever do any like crazy shit um to an ice cream truck or like on ice cream truck? No, but you did clearly. What did you do like on an ice cream like truck? When we were younger, when we were like, when we were like younger, um, <laughs> shout out Wero. That's the guy, that's the chick guy. Um, bro, we would just like, we he, he was like the homie, fool. Like, we would like, he'll drive by and then we'll get like on the back of his shit and just like, he'll take us down the block and be like, yeah, I say. Or like, bro, everybody knew him as a kid. So he was like hella dope. He was cool as fuck, cool with all the parents. He was just always respectful, dope. So we used to fuck with him and shit. Throw, oh. throw water, oh. fucking sh We used to throw fucking water balloons at his shit. <laughs> and just, he be like, van a ver, van a ver. I remember, um, you guys remember the fart bombs? Yeah. You buy? So I remember I would buy fart bombs and then just pop them right in front. As soon as I got them in right in front of everybody. <laughs> and then so, so like, he was be like, they'll be like, what the fuck? Like, now nobody wants to order anything. <laughs> you were fucking up business? <laughs> I, guess, I didn't think, I thought it was funny because I'm like, ah, look it. And then it was though, we used to be able to fiar with that food. Like, hey, come on, for fiar me una. Oh, una like, like fiar? Like run a tab? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Put it on my, Duno's like eight years old. Put it on my tab. Si, porque no está mi mamá, pasa rato. <laughs> and then he used to pass by like he'll come during the during like the day in summer and then he'll come back like around five six and I'll tell my mom that already you know she doesn't pay her no te esquen no se prendan nada you know what I mean mm -mm. yeah shout out the people that so chips at the block like the homies moms and shit yeah and put up with all your stuff they put up with all my shit yeah. they used to like the homies the homies dad used to we used to fiar and he used to have like a notepad of all that shit oh. it's me the homie R I P Julio the homie Lucio everything we see be fun. And would you ever think about what would happen if you didn't pay? If I didn't pay? I think one time I like, as, as, as I got older, I was like, hey, how much do I ever owe you? He's like, probably like $75 in total, but it's okay. <laughs> oh, shit. You were like a kid, you know what I mean? But it was he like, has it all down? Like yeah. That. He has records? Yeah. To this day? <laughs> to this day? But yeah, that shout out. Shout out being a kid. The ice cream chucks and ice, she was lit. Good times. Damn. I'm sorry. I have an announcement from my dad. 
You guys, avocados cost two for five dollars. That's expensive. Super expensive. And my dad said, get ready because they're going to be more expensive because there's a study came out that avocados are good for your heart. So he's like, mija, we have to plant one, something, because avocados are too expensive. So that's for my dad, just FYI. It'll be perfect to plant an avocado. I'll just go to your house and get like, avocados. Mija, if one of these is two fifty, mija. I paid two fifty for one. That's two for $5. Yeah, dad. So but, be ready. Bro, I love avocado. I always ask for extra. I love avocado. That's crazy. Two fifty for two fifty for one avocado. Two for five is fucking crazy. That's a lot. Like I know it sounds like a li- chump change some to somebody, but that's literally two things for five bucks. It's like it's right now, no, it's a lot when you think about like if you make a guacamole, that's like yeah, thirteen dollars or something. For, you know, that's probably that's more. Like, like, yeah. I used to like walk by houses and just grab avocado, just throw it at the hubbies. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, I wish I, man, I wish I would have uh, Man, bro, I wish I would have saved the avocados. If anyone has an avocado tree, wants to donate some avocados. Bro, hey, I'm down to go pick it. up some avocados. Hell yeah. Do you have that people, that person? So when I was younger, my family used to go over one of our, like a friend's house because she had nopales. And they would just be in the yard, like cutting down nopales for, for us because we, we eat them. Um, but did you ever do that either with limones or oranges? You know, I have limones. The lemons, for sure we did. Mm-hmm. And then my mom used to be like, hey, si va a robarle a la vecina unos, yeah. si unos aguacates. Oh, yeah, and me yeah. and the homies, and the homies' dad actually used to have, like, the thing you grab it with, so it's like a holder. So you would, all the homies would be like, <laughs> we're all younger and shit, bro. I swear to God, if I could have, like, a like I would, I'm going to take a picture of the block and just so you guys could imagine all the, like, these little stories I tell you guys. It's that like, happened? There's, like, a, like, it's like the scene. Like, the work of the scene just makes the story more interesting. But, yeah, I used to for sure still have a cuddle from the lady with the creepy house. Damn. I would take guayabas, too, from that same nopales lady. Oranges? Yeah. We had we always had oranges. You always had oranges? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I feel like it was like a barter thing, right? So sometimes, like, because I know at uh, my parents' house in Lenox, we had a lot of duraznos. Ooh. Nice. And, um, and we had nopales. So we had... Um, and then, like, the neighbors had, like, lemons. So we would mm. kind of trade. But and then sometimes the neighbors would take too many duraznos. We'd be like, hey, bro, we didn't tell you. Like, yeah. Just... And then we see them walk by and just take them. Like, what the fuck? Yeah. You know, then like, get, then, then there's even, like, if your tree goes over to the neighbor's yard, your neighbor can literally take whatever they want. That's part, that's yeah. their tree now. I've never yeah. had a house, but I feel like if your tree touches my side, I'm taking some shit. Yeah, it, now you <laughs> like, can. Yeah. Like, or if it's on the block, like, even yeah, if it's, it's like, everybody. in the front yard, it, it's for everyone. It's mm-hmm. for everybody. 100%. If we know what the homies that I used to do, he used, he used to grow um, serrano peppers and like chili peppers, the red ones and the green ones. He used to be like, five bucks to try it. Wow. And we used to be, ah, hey, everybody trying to put a lemon on this shit. I'm yeah. going to be that uncle for sure. I'm a, I, I'm, I'm going to be just 10 bucks. One Bitch, time, you can't eat this shit. One time all my sisters and them left and they just stayed with my niece and my nephew and I was trying to convince them to eat it. <laughs> and I was like, Dio's going to pay for Disneyland. <laughs> And they're like almost pumped up to do it, oh and then my sisters they're like hearing me because I talk loud as fuck. They're like walking the stairs. Now me fucking knowing that, <laughs> and I'm like, shut up, bro, shut up, dude. I mean, they got to the kid. I'm like, bro, stop crying. <laughs> you used to whoop my ass. <laughs> like, but I, I 100 almost convinced them to eat a chili. I was like, one oh, day, no. one day, one no, day no, they're no, gonna no, want no. Disneyland bad enough. No, that's so sad. You do that to a kid? It's not sad. They did it to us. They did it to us. 100. percent They did it to us. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Has has Jorge ever done like boy shit to the boys and you've ever been like, don't fucking do that? And What's he's like, boy shit? Like, I try to throw my godson in the water the other day. Like, I just want to throw him in the water and I'll go grab him just so he could, like, you know? And then. Don't, <laughs> so we're cutting that. That's, the, no. no, no, not like, not like the homies in the water, the babies, like, oh, toss him into the water. He's a boy. Okay. You know what I mean? Like, it's not like, oh, throw him in the water. I don't know. I've yeah. seen some TikToks. Yeah. It's like, nah, <laughs> toss him in the water. The homie's going to be waiting for him. You know, on this side, I'm be, and then she's like, "Don't do that!" Yeah. And I was like, "Ah, whatever." Yeah, that's definitely like a mom. Yeah. You know what? Always moms trip out about when dads or men or guys or anyone throws the baby in the air. Like to you guys, it's fun because you're like, "Ah," and I even the baby's smiling. But that's almost like a, uh, excuse me, like an, an a reaction kids have that is not really that they're happy about it. It's literally like. Their reactions—they can only be show um, crying or or laughter when they're that young. So they're gonna go to like that reaction, but that doesn't necessarily mean that they're having fun. I got As a mom, back. I'm just like, oh my god, don't drop them. You're like you're like standing around spotting, yeah. just in case it just comes down. That should be that's hella scary. Fun. 
That's really scary. Now I'm scared. All right. <laughs> I feel like this was like the most common we ever started a show. Yeah, we did start. It's because, you know, it's already you I got the itis. Oh, you got a itis. No, that's not <laughs> itis, dog. I just said you want to go to sleep. Oh, I never heard people say, I never heard nobody say that before. I got the itis. Do you know what that is? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Might yeah. be might be some old stuff. I think it's, I, I've heard like, oh, tengo aire. <laughs> like my back is like, oh, tengo aire. Like, ah. You know, like, I've heard that before, yeah. but, but yeah. Okay. The itis. Mm -hmm. What's next? I'm not making it up. I'm literally not making that up. No, word. I'm not saying you're making oh, it up. Okay. I'm just, I'm trying to figure out. Go, the you're the itis. only one that didn't eat. Didn't eat. So, go ahead. New music from our West Coast babies, our West Coast persons, our West Coast people. G Perico is featured on the Dreamville tape and has a song with Dave East. Yes, uh, G Perico's like feature run. I'm really excited for him this year. I really think he's put on, like, he has some type of motivator behind him to be like, this 2022, I'm going to go hard. And we all say that, but he's actually doing it. He's on a standout song on that Dreamville tape. And you got to think, Dreamville is a J. Cole crew. It's a Gangster Grills uh, mixtape. You're going to want to hear everybody go in. I think the standouts right now in Dreamville, besides Cole, is Jid or J.I.D. and Ari, Ari Lennox. Mm -hmm. And then what's his, Boz always is fire. Um... But to see G Perico have such a different sound, such a West Coast sound, and kill it on the song he's on. He's on a song called Hair Salon with Cause and Reason. I just keep rewind after his verse, I just keep going back to the like to hear his verse again and again. He just is unique. He's owning himself and he's coming with bars. Like you could kind of expect him, especially initially. G Perico was very like, he's stunting. Or he's, like, on some L.A. stuff or, like, on some, like, F your girl stuff. But this one is it's just more, I feel more business bars in it. I just love it. I love, I love, 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 love G. Prigo for doing that. Um, shout out to you, G. Prigo. Yeah, G. Prigo. Super fire. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I think it's, um, <clears throat> I mean, like, you know, obviously me and Maximo, we know, I guess, well, everybody has a relationship with them. Yeah. Um, in our, my conversations with them, like, last year, he was just telling me, like, you know what, like, I'm flooding, I'm flooding the whole year, I'm flooding. And I feel like this year... You know, obviously he's still putting out music, but I feel like now all the hard work that he's put in, now things are starting to go in his favor. Yeah, like reaping what he sowed. Exactly. Now it's like, oh, shit is just falling into place yeah. now a little more effortlessly because uh, Maximo, you know, you obviously can share the story of what you were saying that he didn't really know. Yeah, he uh, he found out like week of. That, that he was going to be on the dream. Yeah. That's fire. That's yeah. fire. And not a I think it's him and 2 Chains are the other feature. Because Dreamville is a big camp. So you you expect music from them. So for him and, and 2 Chains to be on it, it's like, oh, they ha their verses really had to be hard. For Cole and them to be like, let's put them in the spotlight versus our crew. I, I, always, I, I was thinking that the other day, too. I was like, who picked, who made like the yeah. selection of... It True. has it has to it has to be, be cool. Yeah, that's it's what I'm not saying. gonna like, go move without Cole. Like I'm I'm thinking like do they all like not like that, but I could imagine them like they Cole sitting songs? down and then he's like a desk and then all of Dreamville's other artists just come and leave like their You'd selections. be surprised if I <laughs> runs through that like but more so not in person, probably like yeah. through emails Email. and stuff. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. But yeah. I could imagine him just like, Okay, reason send us in, play it. Yeah. <laughs> like it's just like he's just like super like but, laid back about shit. Yeah. But I think that's fire oh, as fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, um, I've interviewed G Perico before and like I think he's one of those artists that makes sense without a label. Like I think he right. made it clear that like like yeah, people some artists do need labels. So but I think he also he was very like I can do this shit. And he's like he's flooding. I think this year he talked about a tsunami. Hurricane. Yeah. Hurricane. Uh, hurricane. Hurricane 22. Tango. Yeah. Tango. <laughs> but yeah, that was fire. But yeah, I think that's dope as fuck. Yeah. And the Dave East shit. What was yeah, he's part? on a song with Dave East, and he says, I even tweeted it when I heard it. It was so fire. He's like, um, I have to read I it. I got two looks? No, a, a good it. look and real business, like, it's, it's a difference. Like, it's a difference between a good look and real business, and that's real shit. That's like fire. to me, that's, that's a bar. Business bar. Like people will do things like like because it looks good, but it's like, is that really good for you? Like, is this really gonna put your yeah. business somewhere? And it's like, oh, and then there's other things that it's like you perpetrate and you make it seem like you're making these business moves, but it's just like you were at this event. 
you're not partnering with Nike. <laughs> like, yeah. you just showed up. They were at the beach when you were at the beach. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, it's just different. It's or a like, difference. Or, like, when people pose for uh, pictures with artists and they're like, they're like, shh. Yeah. Like, this emoji, and it's like, bro, you're a fan. Yeah. You nice a catching up with bro. Yeah. yeah. Like, nice girl, bro. catching <laughs> up with bro. <laughs> no. And it's like, the, the other guy's like, who the fuck is that? Yeah. Like, <laughs> but we never talked about this song. We never talked about um, Hurricane, right? Or, or I Tango. I feel like we kind of. I think we no, did. We didn't. I, I think we did. I think talking I about talked about it in the room. Yeah, but not know. on air. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah because we're kind of talking I about the it. Spanish. Yes. Tango. So he has this album called Tango. It's T A N G O. Tango. Song. And this guy, Maisimo, he also works with G Preco, and G Preco calls him Edgar because that's his real name. But here, that doesn't fit because Edgars are another whole other thing. <laughs> <laughs> He's Maisimo here. So, they, so G Preco has this song called Hurricane. And at the end, he's just talking about tango. That means all the things that I got, like tango women, tango businesses, tango vehicles. And then he shouts out Edgar, and I'm like, you told him that tango means tango. Yeah. Like, but it doesn't. No. You literally no, lied I to G. Perico. That in Spanish, if you say, because the way he said it is like tango, it doesn't sound like Tango. It tango. sounds like tango. So his the whole the whole gist of that song is that he dances like, like money dances. Yeah. yeah. So tango makes sense like tango like T A N G O. Yeah, yeah. He's that's ta a dance. Tangoing, tangoing, yes. Then this fool says, you know what that means in Spanish? That means I got like I got stuff. Yeah. And so now G Preco in his mind thinks that tango is tango. I just, no, no, he knew. That's what I told it. him. He's like, I, he's like, I have stand, I have Spanish bitches. <laughs> <laughs> Let's I said the I B, I said women. But I want to leave that in there because it's just so deep. That is G. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to catch a hypothermia, dog. Yeah, and if you listen to the end of the song, I like the whole song, but at the end of it is when he gets on his little, let me tell you what tango means, all the ish that I got. And it's so funny. <laughs> When I met him too, he was just very like, me, yeah, me. Like I met him at yeah. a studio and he was just him is cause him and Cypress have a history too. And it's just, what's up, Cypress? Wanna bet right now? Wanna bet right now? And it's just like fool. He's literally a he'll be perfect. He's like a fucking like if people were just to make a cartoon of him and his voice, it'll be the most fucking entertaining thing ever. That's funny. He will be perfect on the Yeah, you, you don't know him until you actually hang out with I him. Swear to in me. like a real place. And like he is yeah, he and, and it's funny because then it's like, oh, bro, let's do an interview. And then it's like, he doesn't show that side of him at all right. during like an interview. Mm -hmm. He keeps that very to himself. So like, I feel like if you know him, if you hang out with him, you'll know the real him, and it's it's a blast yeah. to hang out with him. Honestly. To me, it just I really like seeing him get more and more polished, both like as a rapper and like like again in interviews. Mm -hmm. Already business, like he's he's doing great with enterprise and just all the stuff that they're yeah. doing with like the merch line and everything Water like company. him just being way like polishing up way more i'm i'm here for it shout out to g perico and then i remember i'm like dude perico is spanish are you hispanic he's like no I'm not hispanic but perico's in there somewhere for, yeah, yeah, <laughs> for yeah, reasons yeah. unknown yeah who knows why yeah. latino really for sure live. love g perico oh, they love him they Thanks. love him to death and then another song I heard on the way here that I really, really like is Kaylin Farrell Farrell's pop star, Fire. Shout out to homie Kaylin. I want to bunny hop to that song. <laughs> you bunny hop to a Kaylin song. Yeah. So I'm like, oh. But that has the same like, kind of Calancito? flow. Calancito. That, like, one time, I, was, I think I was playing Kaylin, and I think was like, oh, look, Calancito. And I was like, huh? She's like, Kaylin, Calancito. Yeah. And I was like, it's just a Latina. And Latina. It's like, I know it is. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm like that. You had the ito to everything? The ito. Like yeah. bebecito, yeah. papacito. Yes, I was. Don't make me start because remember yeah. you told me I can't I can't be all. <laughs> oh, chiquito, bonito, bonito. <laughs> <laughs> no, but shout out Kayla. Oh, man. <laughs> Kayla's kidding it too. Yeah, Kayla's kidding it. Shout out the fucking West Coast. Yeah. No, nah, absolutely. Yeah, shout out to. Yeah. Kayla's killing Coast. that. That pop star. I think it's going to be another another hit for him, to be honest. Yeah. It's, it's gotten like really good reaction. Um, obviously he had scoring, but like his biggest song is actually like an album cut, which is Never Lose You. And that's mm -hmm. like on everybody's, like every girl's playlist. Like it just went crazy. Um, Vin Staples also has a new song called Rose Street and I really like it. That shit is it's, fire. it's a guy song. It's a guy song? It's like, like love, what's that? Trust, what's that? Us, what's that? It's very like, yeah, but it's good. I, I ain't gonna lie. I'm not the biggest fan of Vin Staples music, but I am a big fan of Vin Staples interviews. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, okay, like, like, I'm not, like, if you were to be like, Miss Tape album, eh, 30 minutes of, of him fucking Yeah. I had to him follow him on Twitter, though, because he talks too much shit. Yeah. <laughs> his, um, but his music is, I feel like, really good now. Like, getting to the level where, like, if you like him as a person, 
you're gonna start to like his music. I see what it's you're starting saying. to line up like magic with mustard uh. is incredible. Yeah. Did you guys listen to that? That is fucking incredible. If Vince Stable was part of one of the teams, like in, you know how like and like there's a lot of rap groups, you think Vince Staples would be would like like would would you put Vince Staples in a TDE situation? Uh, he was damn near Odd Future. He was like, yeah, he feels more odd future. He to was me. almost odd future. He like makes, he at makes 15, more sense. He was odd future. Yeah. Then he kind of got out and did his own thing. I just always thought he was way buddy, deeper than. Like and Tyler, they all have this weird same vibe. Like it's 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 their yeah. own, but it's their Boogie. yeah Boogie. Boogie. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm a big fan of Buddy too, yeah. and I feel like Buddy, Boogie, and Vince Staples, all somehow like just they have so much in common that people. Like, like, like for if you were to put like a buddy song on like Apple Music, or, like a reference of like, oh, because you listen to this, you look at this, then Staples would be there yeah. or like a boogie. And Absolutely. that's fire as fuck. It's that whole different, like, like they carved out their own. Their they're own not name. your average LA. And they're a lot more accepted by the mainstream, to be honest. Mm. Yeah. Like, Buddy is pretty big, like outside of here. Boogie, too. Boogie will have shows randomly in like Massachusetts. Europe? Oh yeah, you, yeah, Europe, just random, Maryland, like you won't even know. And then and and then we always talk about how that's like the biggest problem with East Coast. I mean, with West Coast rappers that they never make it past Texas. And I think that's uh, just from like not being such a big hip hop, but I like, think outside looking in, that's why I always ask like rappers, like at least people that I'm close to. I just don't ask anybody because I don't give a fuck, and I know you're probably gonna be like kind of rude about the <laughs> answer. But like, why don't you try something new? And it's because, oh, I want to stay true to myself. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> but that's just not working. Like, I feel it. Be yourself. But try something new. Right. And I think that always goes bigger than that. Yeah, you know, it's so tough because even with our own stuff that we do, the outside always has the answer. Because, like, I saw this interview that Russ Westbrook had. Uh, and the guy was like, are you guys going to do anything different? Once they were out of that, that's the play the, the play-in. And then he's like, N- like, no, he's like, well, you're not going to do anything different. He's like, there's more games to play. There's more games to play. There's more teams that could lose their spot or whatever. And then Russell turns it on him. Like, what, would you do anything different? Like, what's your what's your solution? And then the guy's like, winning? Like, how about winning? And it's like, yeah, that's great. Duh, winning is the answer. How do you get to winning? Like, what's the answer to winning? Like, And that's sometimes how I feel is like, that's very easy to say from the outside. Mm-hmm. Like, just win more. Duh, just win more. It's not about just winning more. It's how do you win more? What equals the win? Like, what is the strategy? What's the gameplay? All of that. And I think I don't I don't necessarily that they're like, hey, let's choose to lose today. Let's not choose to win today. It's different. It's different mechanics that go behind it. So that's what I think even with artists. They they know like, hey, maybe I could go another way and it might work. But at what cost? And also what does well just do a hot song mean? What does that mean? What equals a hot song? Yeah, you know? I think I think when, yeah, I think that's yeah, I think when you were like I um I think a big conversation I've had was like how do you like how do you know if you made a TikTok song? Cuz that's like yeah. a thing now, right? And a lot of the artists was like you don't go in there thinking you're going to make a TikTok song. Well, Drake did. Drake? Right foot slide. Oh, that one. Two slide. slide. Didn't, it didn't yeah, yeah, that was yeah. definitely a TikTok. It didn't work out. Centered though. song. Yeah. But but in my head I'm like oh, that kind of makes sense, but I also yeah. know a group of artists that do go in there and go like Oh, this could work for TikTok. And I'm like, right. oh, shit, what the fuck? Shout out TikTok, by the way. <laughs> yeah, shout out TikTok. Are we at 100K yet? We are at 100K. Are at 100K. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you to everybody. Shout out Juan for the fire video. And it's coming up for Juan. It's coming yeah. up for Juan. Yeah. Let's clap it up. It's okay. You can try. Yeah. <laughs> steel sharp and steel. <laughs> uh, Okay, but that's enough. Okay, I saw Drummer Boy also drop something in CNG Z. I don't know how to say his name. CNG. 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 Mm-hmm. So what's why is it G Z at the end of the? Uh, CNG probably wasn't available. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> well, CNG <laughs> dropped. I saw like a clip of the video. Uh, Charisma played it on Power, I believe. I know yeah, he's happy did. about that. Shout out to Charisma. Always checked in. Oh, I did see that. Um, I and I saw Drummer Boy has a v- music video. I want to make sure to also talk about the brown artists that are dropping music because I don't want people in the comments saying, we don't talk about brown artists. And then we also talked about Yaritza. Yeah. Right? Yeah, Yaritza's Still been killing, killing it. it. She's Still killing it. Bro, she's going crazy. From Yakima. From Yakima. <laughs> I said Seattle. I thought I said Washington, but, you know. I ain't going to lie. The only, thing, the only reason I know about Yakima is from iCarly. 
Oh, it's in I Carly. So I Carly lives in Seattle. Her grandpa wanted to move to Yakima because <laughs> her brother wasn't responsible to take care of her. Wow. So in the in the in the, when I was younger, the the part where the brother goes, Spencer goes like. Why does she want to move to Yakima? It's not like somebody's throwing up. Yakima. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, dude, I would not want to fucking live in Yakima. That's funny. That, that shit low-key put it on the map then. Yakima sounds hella fucking depressing. Yeah. That's like, crazy. I didn't even... I thought I saw it, Carly, but I guess I didn't pay too much attention. What? <laughs> what? You feel the, like you have a penis? The sweats I'm wearing are like pop-up. I'm like, I'm just trying to... Are they guy sweats? It's kind of like when you fart in the water. Sweats. And just, you know, the <laughs> sweats. <laughs> Please explain. <laughs> like, you know when you're wearing, like, shorts? You fart in the water, your shorts goes up. You didn't know that? I don't know. Doing over here I wear bikinis in, water. in the water. Powerful ass fart. I for sure farted in the water before. Yeah. I was years playing water polo, I was 100% farting in the water. And you're like, wow, oh, bulge. What? I'm bulging. I was like, oh, shit. Hey, ladies. <laughs> hey, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> you guys this is starting off very I don't, we're st we started hey we're here i don't know where we're going just enjoy the drive wherever oh you're God. watching us listening to us enjoy it okay it's just a little more mellow today yeah it's know? really mellow yeah, yeah. and none of us smoke weed none of us smoke weed. that's wild oh yeah, <laughs> maximum. Know, oh, maximum. <laughs> it's it's like it's marijuana awareness month because you know how 420s here? Oh yeah, Whatever. it's around the corner. It's like wow. yeah, marijuana awareness month. Shout, be aware of marijuana. Be aware of marijuana. Be aware. Be aware. <laughs> you need any more, Maximo? You need any more plug and play? Any more awarenesses? Hey, do you have Do you have any crazy stories about weed? Like, like, like growing up? Like, did they ever give you a lecture? Like, it's gonna fucking go from weed to like a heavier drug and shit? No, I think it was just it was different for me. I don't know why. I didn't. I never had that combo. We had dare though. Dare was fire. You didn't have dare, huh? I didn't have dare. Yeah, dare was cool. Dare was cool. It was whatever. I do liked we think it. We colored? Do we think that anyone movies. actually ever jumped from marijuana straight to heroin? Like, has that ever happened? You think? I don't know. Because that's how they made it seem, you know. Yeah, that it's a gateway drug. Yeah. But maybe for the people that do do those drugs, maybe that was their gateway. I don't know, know that it necessarily means like anyone that does marijuana will also do, but it's like probably the people that also did started with marijuana. Yeah. But like, how long, you know? It's like, know. let's ask it, a co let's ask a crackhead. Heroin hit. Um, <laughs> but if it's if marijuana is a gateway drug, it's to yeah, all possibly. Ones. I'm just wondering, like, because they made it very dramatic, you know, when they would be like, "Oh, this is gonna happen to you." The commercial, and it's like I tried weed a few times, and I never want to do it again, you know. But then, is there a case of somebody that did it and then tried heroin right after? They're like, weed is fire. Let me do some, you know. I, I don't know. That's crazy. I remember what? my first like weed lecture from my mom. I was just like, okay, but I was hella faded. I was just, <laughs> <laughs> I was, she was like, okay, like she was just going in, and then my older sister, she could already smoke, right? She's already eighteen. You can do what the fuck you want, but obviously we just. But my mom, like, it was just like, she's going in, and, <laughs> and then I'm just right there, and my sister's in the back, like, oh, I told you, but I drops on her. I told you, and I'm just like, ah, oh, fuck, it's crazy to be like that. Suge Knight liked our, our family portrait. Isn't really? That funny? That's so fucking yeah. cool. Right? Isn't that cool? Hey, From hey, inside hey. the joint? Yeah, I know. How'd he do that? Wow. That's, that's, that's fire. That's super legend. fucking legend. Legend. That was Top a, Dog liked it, too. Top Dog liked it, too. Legend. 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 That was super fire, honestly. That was like... Yeah. And that's so dope because, did, obviously... Did he edit? Was it, um, what what it? it? No. He took each of the boys and me, and then I took him. So if he looks bomb, it's me. Please. It's your girl. You took that? It's a girl. Wow. Yeah. That's yes. so okay, cool. I'll see you. Add it to the resume, G. Bye. Yeah. Cool. Cool. And you were on TV? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we got to put that. Yo, Letty was on television. Yeah. The so real one. Ass. The real one. <laughs> <laughs> we're on television low key because we're on people. They yeah. watch us on Shout TV. Shout out to you watching us right now yeah. on your television. Hey, um, I like this smart TV. It's really nice. Yeah. Where'd you get it? Same. Are, 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 are is that an LG? <laughs> is that a Roku? Is that a Roku? Yeah. All right, are we recording? Yeah, Let's we're record, recording. record yeah, over no, there. We're recording. We've been recording? Yeah, yeah. Done, we've been recording. The fuck going on? We gotta take a break. What a difference, right? That yeah. is like, That's oh That's because we're God. faded. That's because we're faded. No, we're, we're not faded. Down. <laughs> we're faded down. We were, yeah, we were just turned down, but now we turned up. Let and you know up. why? Because Dodgers opening day <laughs> is happening hey! next yeah. week. Yeah. So they start at the Rockies at, on the 7th or 8th, right, Yasmina? Yes. 
And then next week, it's opening day here at the home. The home opener, yes. I have never been to an opening day. Okay, all right. Ever in my yeah, life. Have you been to opening day? I haven't. You okay. haven't. So, okay, so now What's this has to happen. Us? So now this, ha I've never been to opening what? day. What? Ever in my life. And you guys don't know, it's literally been my lifelong dream to go to, go to, opening, to day. opening day. <laughs> wow. Because it always happened during school. Yes. Or even after that, I didn't have no fucking money. Right. So, like, you know what I'm saying? Right. Like, this year, though. Dude, my this sister year, stays going to opening days, and I'm always jealous. She's even taken my dad, and they have bandas outside of yeah, Elysian Park. Elysian Park. They do carnasadas, everything, and I'm like, damn, I really Hella low riders, hella long Super socks. Super low riders. Hell yeah. Hella brown bag baddies. We gotta for, go. It's gotta you, happen. You guys, I ain't gonna lie. I don't go to Dodger games with my family. Like, wow. so my brother-in-law's birthday falls during, like, Dodger opening all the time. And I just always turn down the, I was like, I'm going to grab tickets. You want one? I'm like, no, because you guys get too drunk and are embarrassing. Aww. So I just always <laughs> turn it down. It's like, I just always turn But I'm super excited for the Dodgers, you feel me? Yeah, big up to the Dodgers. Um, and um, so, what's his name? Made a bold statement. He said, we are going to win the World Series. Quote me on it. You feel me? That? Um. Oh, our, our manager Dave, manager. Dave Roberts. Oh, Dave, Dave Roberts? Roberts. Yes, yes, yes. Wow. He said that. Yeah, that's what the computers told him. <laughs> that's. <Stop. laughs> Loki. I think my dad looks like him, and I thought he was Hispanic this whole time. He's not Hispanic. I think no, he's, he's like Filipino. Uh, Japanese. Oh yeah. And oh black. sorry. Yeah. 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 Um, I think it was Roberts. I know, but he still looks it. She thought it was Roberto. <laughs> Roberto. <laughs> hey, stranger things have happened. They change their names all the time. Yeah. Yeah. Happen, so. That's crazy. Though. I'm. Our um. What's like a see, but opening days are probably a lot, right? Like it's just so it much. It is a going lot, on. but look, there's well, someone there's no listening that empty. always goes to or watching that always goes to opening day. My thing is, I don't think we're gonna be the people that get the spot. So we really have to like rely on you if you have the spot and hold the spot, and we can show up at like eleven. Oh, you mean like at Legion Park? Yeah, at like Legion Park. Okay, so I get that, off work at ten. 10 okay, so look, this is gonna be different this year. It's always at like one or two p.m. start time. Right. This year, it's at seven ten p.m. is the start oh, time. No, that's wait. That's cool. It is because we're gonna be fucked up by the time no. opening. Because <laughs> then that's opening night. Good Dodgers! <laughs> <Yeah. Ooh. laughs> I'm be cheering players that don't play for them no more. Wow. <laughs> Pui! <laughs> go Pui! <laughs> go Pui! I was going to say go Jack Peterson, but he's on the rival now. Yeah, what happened? Uh, you brought up Jack Peterson. He's playing for the San Francisco Giants, you guys. For the San Francisco that's Giants. That's like, that's like. Damn, so first Bates goes to the Padres. Matt? Uh, Matt Beatty? Matt Beatty. Oh, but he was kind of whatever. Yeah, but he's a Dodger. Yeah, but he's not a Jack but look, Peterson. Jack, he's not so, Big Papa. Look, so Jack I mean? Peterson, low-key... Like, we respect him and everything, but he kind of did us foul. Because he was on the team that knocked us out last year. The that Braves. Atlanta Braves. And then now he's going to the rivals. <sighs> to the Giants. But no, but he's going to, like, a division <laughs> rival. <laughs> a rival that runs through California. Or something yeah. just deeper than the just baseball. Giants, man. Like, it hurts the to see him like, yeah, in that like, uniform. Like, like, going to him wearing orange looks fucking disgusting. Yeah. 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 Like, oh my, like, why would you fucking do that? But you know what? You know what? This is what we got to think. The Giants might feel worse. Like, oh, we got the Dodger, like Jock Peterson. Like they know they remember how much they hated us. I uh, would rather someone from the past Dodger team go to our rivals than us get someone from the Giants. I see what you're you saying. You get what I'm saying? Cause then it's like, mm. ugh, no. Nah. That's how want, I felt about Rondo. I just couldn't but like would would you, can't hang. Would you want your ex to date your op? That's kind of wild. I would rather my ex date my op than I date. My anything related to my ex. Ah, okay, I see. You know okay, okay. I, okay. I have to process that real quick. I didn't like say then that. them come here. I would yeah. rather them get it. Yeah. I wonder, like the the crowd cheered, like not, they didn't boo him, but like when he was playing with the Atlanta Braves, they were like, "Cool, it's still Jock Peterson. He's not in our division." Yeah. He's yeah. like, but like seeing him, we're probably gonna see him like two, three times. No, the, so many, so times. many. We times. play the Giants uh, so much. Five, five minutes series wise. Oh yeah, 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 like like, and then I wonder what the reaction is. It gonna be like a boo or like is it still gonna be like? Damn, you're still our man. It's like, damn, like, we fuck with Jock, but I don't know. And, no, okay, well, we'll we won't know. Maybe we'll be, like, whatever. But if he starts killing us? Yeah, like, like if, if he, he starts hitting, hitting home bombers? runs against us every yeah, single time? Or, like, just hitting yeah. home runs from, like, outfield? It's going to hurt a little more. Yeah. It's going to hit different. Facts. Well, there's that. Dodgers. Yeah. So, wait, so, you guys want to go? I honestly or? don't know anymore. Because I want to go to opening day. You want to go, like, in? Like, I want to go yeah. to the opening day. In el dia. Like, be there in the morning. 
I mean, I'm gonna be there in the morning. <laughs> 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 Who knows who's gonna make it to seven ten? But <laughs> I know. Why is it so late? It's just different. It's just the scheduling because of uh, everything was thrown off because yeah, of the lockout. Oh. Everything was pushed back. We should have like started weeks. away. Yeah, way earlier. If it was started like as usual, then End it would March. be actual opening day. Fire. But, Damn. Uh, I don't know. I bought tickets, so you know, y'all want to come? Could tailgate together. Brown back shit. That'd be yeah. Good. You're gonna go find a spot. Or no, I'm gonna just show up. <laughs> it's hard, Vic. It's not easy. I know. There's people that this is them religiously, and they I've look at us like ah, first timers. You think you're gonna get a spot? Fucking I know. We, we this shit. Okay, yeah. look. All right, I'm gonna put this out to all the because there's a lot of Dodger yeah. fans that watch this. Can I come kick it with y'all? Yeah. Is that just cool? Tell where you at. Just let me know. Hold the spot for, for me. Sure I'll show up at like 12 p.m. around there. Me yeah. and my chicken nugget. You feel me? Oh, he's thinking chicken nugget. Hold on. Yeah. Not is an she LA an Astros native. fan. No, she's from oh, Dallas. She would oh, never. Okay. She's actually a Rangers fan, but who cares? Okay, okay. Who as long as she's not an Astros team. fan. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> no, she's not an Astros fan. I made sure before I even like Good. slid. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> slid. <laughs> What's one thing Texas has done wrong? She's like the Astros. You were like, okay, you're the one. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. We can talk. Yeah. You guys, I went to Rosarito. What happened in Rosarito? I rode a horse. Wow. I saw that. I took a screenshot of you, actually. I'm gonna really? Put it, I'm can I see? Yeah, because I was like, this is like, I love to. Catch the homies in, like, compromising positions on Instagram. Because it was somebody else's Instagram, not his. That sounds like blackmail. Yeah, <laughs> it is. It definitely is. It definitely yeah, but, is. well, was, first of all, right? So I'm on this horse. All right. We get a Rosarito. Someone a horse. We're staying on a villa. We're going up. We're getting jumped. Villa Ooh. boys. Shout, shout. Mm, mm. Shout out, mate. Drive, you feel me? What? I look lit on that horse. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> you look like you're gonna go do serenata for someone. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Look, he has the biggest smile. Yeah, so super bad, but I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> he looks so jolly. <laughs> so in my head, I'm like, oh, like we're like, you want me to send it? <laughs> we're like, yeah, writing and drinking, and everybody's like, pause, and all the hunger's like, we done that before. Cause you get it? No, you get it. You got it. Okay, I just, I just wanted to make sure everybody got it. But I was drinking hella Patron and Don Julio while riding. Ah, uh, Patron. Mm-hmm. The caballo, you mm-hmm. feel me? I, I, and then it was like super uncomfortable. I just wonder how part of here just ran through the whole fucking country. It was like the British are coming. Like, yeah. why the fuck would you do that, food? <laughs> this is so bad. Yeah. But it was dope. I had a good. I seen Jay Cortez there. Nice, great performance. Yeah. I ran into Sad Boy Loco. Well, yeah, oh, I, I saw that. that. I ran into Sad Boy. Was his home. twin there? Who's? He has brothers that look exactly like them. Does like, he? Oh, I think they're twins. But they look like him too, so they all look like triplets. Oh, it's wild. No, shout out to Sad Boy, great guy. Shout out Sad Boy, yeah. It's funny because I feel like people see his demeanor and his music, and they're just like, "Oh my god!" Yeah, and I'd be like, "What's up, dumb looking fool? You just <laughs> we're just talking <laughs> shit." <laughs> we just go back and forth like egghead. He calls me fat and shit. We yeah, just, we oh have this dope relationship. But my favorite part about being at Rosarito was we were at a spot called Coco Beach. If you don't know what that is, no. it's like. You know what Coco Beach is? Nope. It's like it's like so it's papas and beers and then there's like on other little bars and like little clubs and shit. We're right there, everybody just eating tacos, getting drunk off Don Julio and Patron, and we're having like the people pass by and woo, like you know, shake your head to yeah. the shot. Remember we did Rosarito Vic? Yeah. And then we had a band out there and we paid for like we paid for like ten songs and we're just going up, everybody was dancing, and it was a great fucking time. I got drunk. Shout out Papa's and Beers. That's, That's fire. fire. Yeah. Shout out to Papa's and Beer. Shout out to Rosarito and Dodgers opening day. We yeah. got to figure that out. Jose Frico. We got to figure that out. <laughs> Joserito? Joserito? Joserito. Joserito. <laughs> All right. Um, the Grammys happened last weekend. We're going to run through some things that clearly everybody's talked about Grammys this week. But I haven't seen enough of this. First of all, the the Chente mishap. So Chente won an award for Best Regional Mexican Album before the Grammys took place. So this is like a pre-show kind of. And a lot of artists win in this t- at this time, but they're not necessarily there because it's the pre-show. If they're going, they're probably getting dressed still or on the red carpet or whatever. Anyways, he wins, and the person that's giving him award, an award is a country singer. And he, he says his name like Vincente Fernandez. And he's like, oh, they're not here to receive their award either, um, but I'm going to accept it for them. And it just felt so like, oh, you're an idiot, dog. Yeah. And not necessarily like, to me, I feel like the guy was set up because someone should have told him. Someone should have told him. That's, Even if that's he pretty pertinent information. First of all, Grammys, you should have put someone up there and you could have. 
God knows who Chente is. Especially if if he's presenting a, a regional Mexican award, maybe it should be someone in that genre, at least someone Hispanic that knows the genre, not someone that doesn't even know the genre at all. Doesn't even know how to say his name. Yeah, they could. He and he would have probably got a lot of them wrong. You know, like I think right before he announced, he's like, "Get bet you guys didn't know you were coming to a Hooked on Phonics episode because he already knew that he was not gonna get this stuff right." But it's just like that seems to me like a producer fail. Mm -hmm. Like you guys could have got someone that understood that this was Chente that won. Then when Chente didn't win, for him to say they makes me know he doesn't know it's a person. He thought it was a group. And all of that just in his ear, something. Say something. Yeah, and that's the way he said it. Like, yeah. he had no clue. He was like, oh, At all. they're they're not here yet to accept their award. Like, yeah. he said something like, obviously referring that he didn't know that he had passed away. Yeah, he, did, he didn't know at all. Yeah. It was like, guess they're not here either. I'll accept the award for them. And it was just like super out of touch. We just lost him four months ago. This is the biggest Mexican artist. Not one of the, the biggest the Mexican biggest. artist yeah. that passed away. I don't expect everybody to know who he is. But I do expect the Grammys to put someone on stage that knows who he is. Because you're, you're setting yourselves up as the authority of music. The Grammys so should why don't you know that? Yeah, respected him more. And Chente has won hella Latin Grammys because mm -hmm. Latin Grammys is a whole thing. But I understand it's how big it is to win a Grammy. You know, that could have been something you did during the show. I know a lot of things didn't get played during the show, but something that you let his family know to go to, something like that. It was just poor, poor planning, poor execution, super cool. Like not cool at all. Yeah, it's Grammys being the Grammys. The Grammys. <laughs> The fact that the fact that I, I didn't I didn't know about it till like we had talked about it on yeah. the chat or whatever. But fool, like I one of my biggest like isn't I, I mean I, I really don't give a fuck, but like when people say my name wrong, mm. it's kinda like, bro, what the fuck? Like say it right. And then yeah. I could like you feel me? How do they get it wrong? Like what do they say? People always say like Doc No. Oh god. Or like you. or like or Doc like, Now. Yeah, like and I'd be like, fool. But I feel yeah. it, I mean, you know what I mean? But yeah. Chente dog. Yeah, Chente is it's it's way it's too it's really big. Like And granted, I didn't know the country guy that did it. I don't know who he is. But I know it's not his fault, but fuck that guy. Yeah, it just <laughs> <laughs> like I'm pretty sure he, he they just gave him some shit to read, but it's still yeah. like like I think when you're gonna prep, I think because I'm pretty sure they just don't tell you the day of the Grammys you're gonna read this right. I'm pretty sure you 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 go through like a rehearsal and shit. Like something had to have happened, yeah. and you know what's crazy is they gave him the least work possible because when they say like the nominees, it's a it's a it, it's like a montage, so it's video. It's it's another person saying the names of everybody and it running through pictures. So it would be like Vicente Fernandez and it showed Chente, and then the other people in the category. So he didn't have to say those. <gasps> people all he had to do was say the winner so when he got that wrong i was just like oh gosh maybe maybe not maybe not it this yeah, is not not, not it, cool yeah. at all uh something they did get right though is they gave tyler the creator rap album of the year he beat yeah. out j cole he beat out kanye who else was in that um i remember donna too donda was on it and um the off season was on it yeah. not too sure who else but tyler the creator won nas, nas was on it um, Nas was on it. Can we get the full list, please? That's so fire because that's really a Gangsta Grills mixtape. It's a Gangsta Grills mixtape. If we're, being, out, if we're yeah. being honest, like, it got categorized as a rap album, but he did it with the intention of, like, oh, this is a Gangsta Grills mixtape. I've always wanted to do this. Right. And it was a passion project for Okay, him. um, is this What's song? What's Gangsta Grills? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, don't get mad at me. I just, I just, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta ask, like, Okay, okay. I, pr I appreciate yeah. you Juan, asking. Juan, don't be shaking your fucking head. Yeah, Juan, not you. Fucking, not you. You don't even have the nominees there. Fuck. At least I'm real about not liking certain shit. What the fuck is, what is this? Please give me a Okay, history. so Gangster Grills. Don't laugh at me, asshole. I'm laughing at what you said about Juan. Okay, fuck that guy, okay. All right, all right, I'll break it down. So basically, Gangster Grills was a mixtape series started uh, by DJ Drama. Back in like the mid two thousands, yeah. or actually probably early two thousands. Okay, I was fucking even. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. But and uh, like a lot of artists came from that, like Ti, um, Lil Wayne, Wayne did Wayne the, probably, the most run. famous one, yeah. which was Dedication Two. Yeah, and people were like, "Bam, Dedication Two should have won a Grammy." Yeah, but but essentially it's, it's a it went it series. went away for a while. 
He got Tyler, the, the creator, the has always since he was young at that time when all of the they were doing Gangster Girls. He was like my one of my bucket lists. I want to do a Gangster Girls tape. Like I want to do a tape with drama. It. He tweeted it. It's been one of his life goals. So for him to even drop "Call Me If You Get Lost" was like, oh my god, I finally realized my dream of getting a Gangster Girls uh, mixtape. Essentially, DJ Drama's just all over that bitch yelling. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that, I, think, that was, I think he helps A and R a little bit too. I, I, okay, possibly. possibly. That's what that's what I was gonna ask. Like, was the what makes it a gangster? Yeah, what makes it a gangster? That DJ drama the is on there yelling, and you get a stamp basically of approval. Drama. Yeah, the, uh, yeah, the, it's just his. Pa- the his project, the the Dreamville project, was a gangster girls mixtape. Yeah. Just, just imagine um, like DJ Khaled, but just drama. DJ but drama less originator. No. Exactly. I think drama does more than what Khaled does on the record. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, I just so just tell the creator no, album. I'm it's the other they're way. All great. <laughs> they're all <Yeah. laughs> great. Um, okay, is Gangsta Girl something hip hop missed? Yeah. Yeah, it just For a was. While, right? Well, okay. it's because that whole mixtape era was a thing in the past that mm. not necessarily they kept doing. And they anymore. were selling physical mixtapes back then, right? Uh, okay, I see what you're saying now. You know, yeah, my question was like. Has other than the title of the creator shit, uh, how long has it been that somebody dropped something gangster girls? Uh, I'm not too sure, but I know they went like in hiding for a while. But because um, Tyler was such a fan, he brought it back too. And drama just started doing other things That's before fine. that was the only thing he did. But then he has his own show and he has his own stuff that he does and more A and Ring on the side besides gangster girls. It stuff. is the first he signed Lil Uzi, yeah. Jack Harlow. F- fuck it, this is the first gangster girl that's won an uh, album. Yeah, that yeah. won a Grammy. That's that, why it's so big. Oh, oh, yeah. okay, okay, okay. So this is the first Gangster Grill mixtape slash. That's ever won a Grammy. That, yeah. Oh, okay. Because it would never be considered before. I think just mixtapes in general were never considered mm-hmm. for Grammys before Chance the Rapper. Oh, wow. So. Mm-hmm. And it happened to be an LA native. An yep. LA native. Yeah. Hawthorne. Shout out Hawthorne. 310. You're, you're. Ladera Heights. Um, Tyler just had a show at the Crypto.com Arena. Ugh. Uh, <laughs> He yeah. shouted out Nip and he shouted out Kobe. He clowned how it's not crypto, how it's always going to be staples. Like, sometimes I feel like he, because, okay, you know how there's some artists that are just the world's artists that they're not even LA's artists anymore because they do just music that is so for everybody. Universal. And sometimes you can put people like maybe a Doja Cat in that category or even a Tyga that doesn't necessarily is not like oh my god he's just repping LA all the time because Tyga would just do like Bedrock is not LA and things Rack City all of that right mm-hmm. whereas I do feel this guy rep Los Angeles Tyler but I don't know that Los Angeles reps him back um, and honestly if anyone else if a TDE member won Rap Album of the Year we'd be so like oh my god LA yeah. won what yeah. the freak but Tyler is an L.A. artist, and this is the second time he's won Rap Album of the Year. And he's really, really, really from L.A. Like, really from I knew LA. about him way before he made music. My homie used to skate with them. Like, people when I know went to high, like, high school, middle school with them. Like, he I, did all the yeah. things necessary. People used to see him on Fairfax just as a kid. Yeah, I, um, I was a big fan of them being, like, themselves. Yeah. And when Odd I was future. younger, yeah, our future, like, there was such a fucking fun group to see. Like, I used to watch, they used to have, like, three two-minute clips of every city they went to, Boston, New York, and shit like that. And they would, they just, they were fucking assholes. Like, there's, like, this clip of Tyler the Creator going around Ladera Heights oh, with yeah. fucking, um... He's a prankster. With his best friend, um... Jasper. Jasper. Jasper, and they're just doing hella cool shit, and I'm like, damn, that's me and the homies. Yeah. But, yeah, I've... I claim that for. I think he's a big LA. Hell yeah. He's he's not an LA that was mainstream. He's like on the skater side. Like people don't understand that he was he's like a real life skater for. Like he probably used to skate yeah. from when he probably used to run through fucking Culver City Mall for, for fucking Fox Hills or whatever mm-hmm. and go down Ladera and go to fucking La Brea and shit like like exactly real LA is. shit. Just yeah. it's not the most mainstream. LA. Obviously, we have the gangster side of it. Which is a more popular one. But I think, honestly, I think there's more people like Tyler than not. Yeah, 100%. But what I'm saying is it's not the most entertaining to the other people. That's why maybe it might not be. the. Maybe a lot of people don't think. Like the hood doesn't necessarily fuck with it, unfortunately. Yeah. That's, that's more so the thing, too, because he is, like, lucky for being left out. This guy is making racks. Like, sold out shows, still, like... Uh, Cam Flogna, the merch Con- line. Converse, he, Anything he does is big, but it's almost like, you know, like Travis Scott is untouchable. Travis Scott is not necessarily it, like the South. Houston, But yeah. he's so huge. Yeah. 
That's true. He's so huge. And, and Tyler's gotten there, but I don't know that we've necessarily ever been like, Tyler, the creator, ours. But he's done a lot, and I just would just like to give him his flowers on that. Facts. One thing is he really loves power. Like, I, I, always, I interviewed him on the – my first red carpet was also his first red carpet. It was the MTV VMAs. He was nominated for Yonkers. And I got my gig, like, on the morning show at Power – because I could hold a conversation with him. He had came in before he, like, he's known for being like, hey, so tell us about the music. A unicorn! Or, like, he does, yeah. like, dumb, like, he'll, he's distracting, right? <laughs> On some ADD type of stuff, yeah. right? But I knew that already. So the interview I had with him, I'm like, all right, I have to catch his attention really fast. But one thing that was dope was, like, damn, I hope you win because it's home team. And he's like, yes, it's home team. Like, he felt really good that he was embraced like that. And to me, I'll never forget that. He, as much as crazy and as out there as he is, there's nothing like being embraced, you know? And I would just hope that he could see that even if you're even if you're the way you are, even if it's not either the G code that we really, really, really love out here, we still embrace you. Like, Tyler, you're still ours. No, I think I, fuck, I 100%... Um, believe that because I just feel like 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 in high school I was friends with everybody it wasn't just fucking that's my Tigers yeah. I was like so he's one of those fools like I, I I have like close skater homies and and Tyler just reminds me you know they yeah. they do a lot of like you feel me like yeah I don't know I fuck with Tyler stuff I claim him yeah he's like Juan they're on a different vibe Tyler's way cooler than Juan no but he's <laughs> oh yeah Juan's okay, definitely yeah. a Tyler fan yeah. Juan is for sure like a Tyler fan yeah he has a tattoo right or no? Yeah. Oh no, your backpack. Sorry. Oh, you do have a. Th- I do. Oh, I have a backpack. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> sorry. Yeah, I know I saw something. Yeah, big fan. Yeah. yeah shout out Tyler. Let's shout give him his Tyler. flowers. Everything that he you've done. LA's artist, and that show. Uh, I didn't go, but I know you went. Yeah. That's super fire to, to, for him to like. Yes, we're, nobody's dude. really talking about that. Did he sell it out? Was it pretty? I, I mean, think it was sold out. I don't want to speak too soon, but then that's just me not having. Yeah. Been, it's all, been aware. So it's that was Tyler. Cali Uchis, a Latina. Yeah. Vince Staples, Vince Staples, which I know must have been a crazy full circle moment because they used to tour and like yeah. do shows together when it was probably 100, like two, 200, shit like that. No, smaller, like tiny venues yeah. when they were teenagers. So now for them to be, you know, I, I think Staples. Tyler's like 30 and Vince Staples probably like a little younger. For them to sell out the whole Staples together. That's fire. That's well, okay, I really want to just see Ali. Um, and then Tizo Touchdown. I don't know who that is, but oh, they yeah. went crazy for Tizo Touchdown. He's, he has like... He has like nails in his hair? Yes. Or like nails for hair? Yes. Yeah, it's kind of odd. I don't know where he's from. I think he's from Texas. Oh, okay. I, um, real quick, super side note. I just really want to see Kali Uchi perform Telepatia one time. Oh, yeah. Oh. Was it sold out? Did you guys check? No. It said uh, buy tickets now. <laughs> you, can still, you can still buy tickets for the show that passed. <laughs> either way, either way. Either way, I'm sure yeah. they got close enough. They, yeah. It was jam packed, and people were turning up. People were turning up. That's fire. Hell yeah! Shout out Tyler the Creator. Yeah. No, and and really like he's just a good dude. He loves bacon. He loves. He's he's cool. Yeah, like I remember we used to bring him bacon. Yeah, we used to, he used to come to this to power, and they would give him bacon. That's hard. <laughs> That's super yeah. crazy. Yeah, I just I love that Odd Future just grew into like such a big thing. Even Jasper Dolphin was in uh, Jackass. Yeah, and he was at WrestleMania this weekend. Too. Shout out Jasper. So imagine okay. like one homie is winning a a fucking Grammy, and the other one, and the other one's at WrestleMania with Jackass. Okay, Stone Cold's back. He made a one. One oh, time okay. appearance. It was so Smarted sad ass. to watch. It was sad? Sad. It was I didn't just, watch it. Oh. It wasn't sad. Like, it oh, was, it's because he's old? He's old, too. Yeah. yeah. Mr. McMahon, too. They try to recreate the like shit oh, they did in 97. And it's like... Too, Nostalgia's too. a thing. It's working. It, was it didn't cool. work. It didn't work. It didn't work. It became like a meme and shit. Oh, yeah, yeah. It was, yeah I, 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 was, I was nerding out this weekend watching um, WWE. She was pretty sick. Okay, uh, and then, sorry that I sidetracked. No. Let's go back to the Grammys for one more thing. To everybody trying to say Baby Keem is from Los Angeles. <laughs> did you see when he won his Grammy and he shouted out Vegas? He did not shout out Los Angeles. He is a Vegas artist. He was born in Carson, yes. 
But Vegas is where he was raised. And even in the, there was a, there was a report of him being backstage and being like, you know what? It, this is so magic. Like the Grammys are never out here, but I win my Grammy where I'm from. And the Grammys are out here like Vegas. So great artist, just not an LA artist. Baby Keem is not from LA. Not from LA. All right, Maximo, get it through your fucking head, Maximo. <laughs> We've been saying I this too. We did. We said, early on this. I said, his music we said is this fire. early yeah. because the thing is, we never even heard of him. I just, just kidding. Yeah. I but me, he ain't got it in the city. <laughs> so me and Vic are clearly journalists by trade, right? Yeah. And. We get pitched artists all the time. I remember getting pitched Baby Keem when it was this artist from Vegas. That's why when he was repackaged as like clearly PG Lang and LA and all of that, I'm like, this doesn't make sense. Why are you guys doing this? And then that almost feels force fed. Not that he's not good, not that he has doesn't have um, good records, but it's just they tried coming in one way and it didn't work. So they're like, all right, let's just rebrand and then like give him to the you again and i think anyone will feel like hey you just repackaged some stuff i didn't like and just are trying to sell it to yeah me like it imagine just somebody feels was like, forced you seen them and then later on they were like oh i'm from echo park yeah and you're like that'd be like what no you're not you know what i'm saying like you that get would just offended, hit different. Right? even I'll if his like, songs were great that would just yeah. hit different yeah you liar yeah you <laughs> liar <laughs> you're a fucking two liar what's going on over there like, yeah. i just think it's like fucking hate his name i'm just kidding not done. i remember we were talking about how the good morning song fucking sucks he, actually i like that part of that song oh, I, the, I like when kendrick uh, says you, top it's of the funny morning, that you call it good morning it's top of the morning i do like that part no it's, that's not that's not the name of the song <laughs> that's just what kendrick says in the uh, song see that's a bad thing about the artist i don't even know what he says yeah i just know what oh uh, yeah but it is kendrick. Yeah. but remember i was saying he has this like whole weird mysterious thing about him that was like Bro, that shit is so annoying. But, like, you're a real person. Yeah. Act like it. So now that he wins a Grammy, now he's like, oh, I feel things, and I'm right. a person, and I'm from here. This is where I'm actually from. But it's even annoying. just that mysterious thing really only worked for Weekend. Yeah. And maybe, and her. Because remember her used to yeah. be mysterious, and then we found out how yeah. she looked like and all that. Well, I like that because she was yeah. like a child star. Yeah, and so she and had, she had to like rebrand, kinda, too. But Baby King was she just a like, child star? Yeah. She, she literally even went by her other name and it's escaping me. Um, but then she then it was her. She was like but a they child. never showed her initially. So we could just fall in love with the They boy. showed a silhouette. Yeah. Everybody thought she was ugly at first. Like not before they seen her, but they were like, Oh, she's probably ugly, so I don't want to see her. Oh, that's why they're not showing her. <laughs> yes, for and then she came on and she was fine. And they were like, Why'd you hide her? Yeah. <laughs> All this time. <laughs> Why'd you hide her? <laughs> but like, I don't think it's the you can't be we're in an age of vulnerability of transparency and authenticity that's what's gonna get you th those fans yeah like i remember your old drew i don't know if you remember your old drew yeah. is this dude that sounded yeah, straight dope. like nas exactly like Nas. sounded like nas and everyone liked him because and but he they never showed who he was and then he's low-key like some white rapper he's an albanian yeah rapper or, or something. something like that yeah. and it didn't work yeah. And then I feel like with Keem, it's like it's not going to work making him mysterious. That works for Kendrick now. But we already knew Kendrick for him to go back in his, like, I'm only dropping once a month or once a year type of thing. Um, also, do you think that they would have won the Grammy if it wasn't Kendrick on the song? No way. So, so this is my thing. Did he get his Grammy too soon? Because this is an artist that we've, we've, we've dabbled with if he's an industry plant. All of a sudden, he gets a Grammy, and it's like, wow, this is just too much, too soon for him. Yeah, Wait. I think even for him, he's gonna be like, damn, this is great. He got a rap song of the year. No, it's rap a performance? a best performance. rap performance. Yeah. Fuck does that mean? So is that a good music video? <laughs> no, I'll tell you what it means because okay. I've researched this. Performance is actually how he sounds on the song, how they sound on the song. Performance. <laughs> Hip hop is so just like it's not hip hop. It's the Grammys. <laughs> it's the, the Grammys. Grammys. It's like, not hip hop. This is a category. Yes, it's a category. We, we gotta because there's a difference between. So, for example, in Please rap, in rap just, performance, uh. only the people that rap on the song get the Grammy. So only Kendrick and Keem would get the Grammy. Versus if he won Best Rap Song, the producer would get it. Producer, writers, everybody that's on the song gets a credit. That's credited gets a Grammy too. But this is performance, so this is just the people, the the artists on it, the talent. It's very different. It's very weird, but it's Grammys. Yeah. So I think, I, 
I, feel, I don't like because I even thought I'm like, oh, is it performance on the charts or things like that? Like, oh, how did it okay, sell? Okay. So, no, they they're not Billboard. They don't care. So should have, should Kendrick have took home both Grammys if he wrote it? <laughs> <laughs> but that's why it's performing. Yeah, it but like, that's why it's performing yeah. because, especially, you know how like in, it, it maybe <clears throat> matters less in rap because we expect the person that raps to write it too. But let's say it's a pop song, right? Um, Britney Spears will win best pop performance because it's about her singing on the song versus whoever wrote the song for her. It's mm -hmm. about how she performed on the song. You know, those are not her words. She didn't write it. Someone else did. But she performed, but she performed it really well. I'm not a fan of this. Yeah, guy. it's just how it goes. <laughs> and I know we have a lot of Keem fans in the comments. More power to you. It just never resonated, and then I just feel so weird, like it just being pressed on us like that. Maximo loves Baby Keem. Yeah, I fuck with Keem. I'm, I'm, I'm still looking for from another. LA, right? No, I never LA's said very that. Own. I never, I never said, that. said that. You guys should have seen his video. He's like, Letty, I didn't know. <laughs> You're also a Clippers fan and yeah. a cheesehead. Let's go. Yeah. Shut up. You're fucking just horrible, yeah. fool. Like only thing good for coming from you is G Perico. <laughs> Cause Loki, I just saw Bell Nine on our stories. She's feeding her dog off of her own fork. <laughs> That's your girl too. Shout out to Bell Nine. What's up, dog? And oh, fucking Danny Trejo. Danny yeah. Trejo doing the same thing. Yeah, but Bell Nine is connected to this guy. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Danny Shout out Bell Nine. I didn't make it to your show, but I wanted yeah. to go. They're the one there, you guys. Yeah. Sorry. Well, wow. Wow. damn. Why are we saying Val Nine? Yeah. Instagram. Her Instagram. Instagram. I mean. Sorry, Val the Wonder. Yeah, Val the Wonder. Wasn't Val so the Wonder her Instagram before too? I don't think so. Oh, don't think so. my yeah. bad, Val. Yeah. Val? Shout out, Val. Val. We love yeah. you. But yeah, but that's fucking leave them dogs at home, fool. <laughs> Let them be bad. What did you guys feel about all the backlash we got from dog owners? <laughs> I told. Didn't I tell you? I knew we were gonna get it. <laughs> I'm watching it. I'm a waiter with Rosarito, and the homie Major goes like. Hey, fool, I let my dog sleep in my bed. <laughs> <laughs> the truth comes out. No, no, but everybody, like, the homegirl Jizz lets yeah. your fucking stupid, ugly little dog sleep in her bed. Someone's yelling in the... Is it you, Yasmina? No. Oh. Sarah? The cat's for sure not sleeping in my bed. We brought it up, though, too. Oh, my cats. Had a cat. Cats don't give a fuck. Yeah. They sleep by the window. Cats ain't trying to mess with you. Cats do cool shit. Like, they'll sleep yeah. on the fucking light bulb or something. Yeah. Like, it's just cool. But for fucking dog way. Yeah. And, and people were like, and then and then I think people were like, I was getting crazy DMs. Like, oh, but yeah. I'm like, bro, shut the fuck yeah. up. Just shut up. I saw like a really like passionate person comment, like something that was like true, but kind of sad. No, it's what? not true. What? <laughs> no, he's like, he's like, I have a dog and it's the most loyal thing ever. Humans backstab you, but my dog never would. And I was just like, <laughs> that's pretty deep. I was like, <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> we were just joking around. Friends. Friends. Just, that was wrong. I'm like, we were, just, <laughs> I'm like, we're just joking around. Like, yeah, we don't hate. And that was the thing too. Like, we never said we hate dogs. You guys, no. I, I fucking dogs. love dogs. I, I love, love animals. Dogs. I'm a big fan of fucking cool dogs. Like, if you have a cool dog, yeah. I'm a fuck with your dog. If your dog's fun, if your dog's fucking groomed, you feel me? Like, Danner has a dog and named fucking Kilo, and he's the most coolest fucking person ever. But Kilo not bugging me yeah. while I'm eating, you feel me? Yeah. Like, they tell him, go inside. Ve para adentro, Kilo runs inside, you know yeah. what I mean? But yeah. Dogs are cool. Yeah. I'm not saying anything. I told you guys. I feel my words got misquoted hey, on hey, the, the real. I don't like it. I, I the, that's it. There was some guy telling you like they yeah, mistreat like, your dogs that, that you I'm don't like, have. I don't even have dogs, bro. <laughs> I have no dogs. He's like, you should give away your puppies for adoption. She's yeah, like, you I don't, don't love have them. Dogs. I don't have them, bro. <laughs> I have no dogs. Watch the episode. Yeah, talking about dogs. Talking about Maximo's weird ass. The forum is changing their name. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to transition there, it just didn't work. I thought she was weird ass. Keep going, let him get out. Yeah, keep going. It didn't work so much keep that going. it worked. Yeah. Keep going, keep going. Keep going. The forum is telling your name. Okay, and then? To the Kia Forum okay. because they got purchased, purchased. They got purchased by the Clippers owner. <sighs> the Clippers owner did this? Yeah, hey, for you guys don't know how to like, just fuck off? Hey. <laughs> like, go to another fucking city. Oxnard would love you guys. <laughs> We're here to stay. <laughs> Figure it the fuck out. <laughs> We're here to stay, man. Okay, what's going on? Why the Clippers owner? He so bought it. He, he bought, bought it actually in so 2020. So the Clippers can go over there, right? No. no? it's not. They're not going to play in the forum. Because they just want everything the Lakers used to have, huh? Really? The really? forum? 
Yeah. So like like Yasmina. They no, not Yasmina. No. I, was, I was gonna say, who's the one that's dating him? Um, Yaelin. I'm so sorry. Yeah. <laughs> the, the Clippers are the Yaelin of Los Angeles. <laughs> Please really give context. Yaelin is a girl that got Anuel from the other girl. Okay, from yeah. Carol. Okay. We're talking about it with some Masala. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it's More on the sorry, sorry. It was just, it, I, It's okay. He's just jumbling everything together. It's my right creator, now. Tell the creator. Tell the creator. Yeah. Unicorn. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. I, I, why the fuck would you rename the thing? Yeah. I loved it when it was the Great Western Forum. That just felt great. Like, that yeah. felt amazing. Western. It was like yeah. it was the West Coast. Yeah. But, the uh, Kia Forum. No one even drives Kias. Who drives a Kia? Play Griffin. Yeah. Play Griffin. Play <laughs> Griffin. <laughs> Play Griffin. Yo, the people who no. drive Kias and have dogs sleep in their bed are going to be so mad. Be so mad at us. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a Kia driving dog sleeping. Dog, not gonna lie, it goes. And I hate the brown bag. It goes. <laughs> <laughs> the Clipper Kia dog yeah. fans. Oh, oh my, my god. god. Fuck all of them. Yeah. <laughs> Lakers, bitch. <laughs> That's okay, so, so I feel like it's like Toyota, <laughs> Ford. No, Toyota, Chevy, Ford, Kia. No, Ford, Hyundai. Oh, Hyundai. Hyundai and Kia are the same, the same thing. thing yeah. Okay, so then there. Yeah. Wait, what's the I'm worst? I'm not going to put a Kia anywhere near where the Toyota and the Ford and the Chevys are at all. Yeah. Or Honda. Honda. Honda's up there. Ha- even up there, yeah. Yeah. It's um. So you're telling me you chose a Kia <laughs> over a Camry, over a Civic. <laughs> Over a Chevy Silverado that runs through tornadoes. <laughs> <laughs> the running drive. Hey, I cannot wait till <laughs> Lefty reads a Kia ad. <laughs> you, know, you, know what I love about, you know what I love about me? You know what I love about me? That I don't do anything if I don't really back it. Oh, hell yeah. Okay. But shout out to the Southern California Toyota dealers. <laughs> I stay in my oh, Toyota. Hell yeah. <laughs> oh hell yeah! My Rav Four is comfy. Keep going, keep going, Fuck with me, going. dog. Yeah. <laughs> Northwest College, though. <laughs> we on. Oh my god. my god! That was perfect. I love. I love. I love it. I love That's Lefty funny. when she does promo. I, I know. <laughs> my Shout favorite. Out to clear weather. <laughs> 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 Anyone oh, else? Shit. Abrams, what's up? Yeah, we need a fucking yeah, we'll... led the year fool. Uh, legend. Legend. All right. <laughs> All right, let's move on. I honest, okay, let's just run through this really quick. All right, we have to do this for the sake of old head Ron. I like how you're getting ready right now. <laughs> let's let, just do this real quick. Let's do this. Rock the Bells is back. It's really not. It's just LL Cool J taking the Rock the Bells festival name from Guerrilla Union and making us get in our feels that, oh my gosh, Rock the Bells is back, but it's really a whole different festival that's taking place in New York. Yes, LL Cool J has Rock the Bells, but he made it a hot line. Guerrilla Union made it a hot festival. And then now Chang, not, not Chang, now LL Cool J took it back through court means and all that stuff. He took the name back and he's giving a new festival with a pretty decent lineup. Yeah. It's happening in New York, but it's it's not rock the, for people, because especially the caption is misleading because it says like, don't call it a comeback. Clearly that's another line from LL Cool J. Very petty. But it makes, it makes it seem like rock the bells, the festival Mm -hmm. that we know that took place in the IE, the Pomona Fairgrounds, all of that, that that's happening again. It's not. It's a whole other festival just using the name. Um, and it's on the East Coast. And it's on the East Coast. And it looks like they made this graphic on Canva. <laughs> Canva is literally like the app for, like, if you don't want to get a graphic designer, you go on Canva, which is great. But I don't know for the festival if it would be that great. Man, that shit is bullshit. Thank so uh, Rock the Bells Festival has... Um, Ella Cool J, obviously headlining his own festival. Right. Ice Cube. Tina Kim, Kim, Fat Joe. Kim, Fat Joe. Yeah. Who else is that? Trina. And see Nori. what Rock the Bells meant to me before was like 
underground. Like, Rock the Bells is on some independent stuff. Like, I saw Atmosphere at Rock the Bells. You could see Living Legends, MERS, and all of them at Rock the Bells. Like, that felt very, like, oh, wow. Like, I'm on the, I'm really seeing the stuff you're never going to see anywhere else. Whereas these clearly names are, it, this is more like an old school festival. It's people that were popping at one time. But these are never not mainstream artists in their time. Um, so it's very different. It's just different concept. The only thing that's the same is the name, Rock the Bells. So I would just say, if you are thinking that it's the old Rock the Bells, it's not. And it's it's pretty ironic that every single act that they booked would never be on a real Rock the Bells lineup. Yeah. Like literally Maybe none of Ice Cube, but the bag uh, had to be right. Yeah, the bag would have to be super right. Yeah. But they didn't book artists as big as Ice Cube. It was like... Who was the biggest artist they Well, later like, oh, on, they did. They, they, they like started Wu-Tang. getting, yeah, Wu-Tang to do, like, anniversary albums. I yeah. remember Nas and Lauryn Hill oh, they did, one? did one. Okay. Yeah, but I just think their their mix is very different. Yeah, and then you had, like, the... Rock the Bells would have sometimes local L.A. artists as yeah, well. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And then Pay Dues, Pay beca- dues. came on that was as a shit. baby off of Rock the Bells. Yeah. Yeah. So the... Um, uh, my history to this is nothing because I was like, <laughs> like a bud, but I remember growing up, oh. like my, my older homies would be like, oh yeah, we're going to go to Rock the, Rock the Bells. And it's like, um, a, a lot of older, a, a lot of my older homies really like, like lyrics and shit, which is like right. a, like yep. a, um, like atmosphere yeah, and atmosphere, like a fucking, Tech um, Nine. Tech Nine like, and all that shit. Mm-hmm. And, um, I remember hearing about Pay Dues. I was watching. Oh, I loved Pay Dues There's this so group much. of shit. Fucking, there's this um, artist out of East LA. I'm gonna give him his flowers. Just he's not he's not like my close homie or anything. I just I remember watching their vlogs. Um, their group is called East of the River. They're like rappers. Oh, yeah. They're like very yeah. like yeah. Um, lyricists and just get down. And then there's a uh, give me his name. You know I'm oh Viva Mezcal. Oh, yeah. and I remember them being so excited about being part of Pay Dues. Yeah. TDE was part of Pay Dues because that's, before they popped. Because it's it's real hip hop shit. Yeah. Like it's and like. <sighs> Let me just tell you the vibe because you've never been there, right? Yeah. I had never been to a festival before. I think Rock the Bells was probably like a, a guinea pig for a lot of these festivals. That maybe Tyler was probably there mm-hmm. and got a, an idea of like how to make Camp Flogna or things wow. of that nature. Odd, Odd Future, um, for sure, had a they were booked for one. Yeah, and so it was just to be there. It felt a lot of times I'm the out like. Not that I'm the outcast, I'm the outlier in my circles of friends because of how much I love hip hop. Yeah, like yeah. I know I stand out because of that, but it's sometimes low key, especially without like the internet and social media, it's low key lonely because I'm the only one that's like dissecting bars like this, right? I'm not a dude, more so dudes do this mm. than girls. Shout out to all the girl hip hop heads out there though. But being at Rock the Bells and being at Pay Dues, it just felt like, wow, this is me. Everyone on the lineup is people that if I bring it up to one of my friends, they're like, who, what, where? But here, everyone gets it. Everyone's going to rap along. Like, it just felt so amazing to be there. Smelled like weed. There, And it was even just, like, the beginning of, like, streetwear merch brands and, like, mm-hmm. streetwear brands. They had selling and all that stuff. It felt so good to just, just felt on some hip-hop shit. You were home. Definitely. Like, yeah. And after it, it left, there was really not that anymore. And I really do think that these artists took it on their own. Like, OK, if festivals aren't there for us, clearly probably like Coachella or the one that happens in Chicago, um, Lollapalooza. Lollapalooza, stuff like that. Like, they, So they're like, hey, let's make our own. Let's try it out. Um, I know Atmosphere has their own in uh, Minneapolis. Uh, clearly Dreamville Fest, all of that stuff uh, that didn't exist before. Yeah. So it's just really cool to be there, really fun to be there. And it's. I don't think it's the same thing that what LL Cool J is bringing. LL Cool J is giving us like an old school, con- it's like a Welcome to the West type of concert. On the East Coast. Yeah, on the East Coast. I don't know like the history about the suing shit, but I think it's yeah. like, like you already. It's his song. It's his, it's his song. It's his line. He, But my thing is it's like Guerrilla Union didn't take it to make another song. He, They took it to make a whole other thing. In concept, like, I don't think L.O. Kuja was talking about a festival when he said Rock the Bells. You know what I'm and saying? And it was paying homage. Yeah, it was definitely paying homage. And it's just, but now, ironically, L.O. Kuja is taking that name to make another festival. In t- exactly. Like, just, co- like, leeching off the festival concept. Not being and like the name a big, and like, the brand. Like, not being, like, so into the music shit like that, like how you guys are. But seeing that flyer is, like, if somebody were, like, you want to come to it? I'll probably be like, I'll see if I make it. Yeah. But like, if it was like, I see some of the, when I seen this shit, I see some of the older flyers of like the Rock the Bells and all that. I was like, oh, I would have gone yeah. to that shit. Like, I would want to see, because now these artists are what they are now and shit like that. 
Cooler. Yeah. My, my biggest problem with it is it being a West Coast thing that we cherished and loved and helped a lot of West Coast artists' careers and then now just taking it to the East Coast. It's like, okay, if, if you guys bring it back to the West Coast and fill that void, awesome. Right. Because it doesn't really matter who it comes from as long as it'll help out all these artists. But it's like you're just taking our whole shit and taking it to the East Coast. Right. Like now that feels kind of yeah. wrong. And just conceptually, it's, you know, it's, it's not going to be the same. It's like, yeah. it's like, for the, for like, it's all Amala. Like, you didn't even want to do it. Yeah. You were just like, I'm going to do it. So you didn't even do it because you wanted. But low-key, if we're talking about LL Cool J, I'm going to tell you a real quick story about his beef with cannabis. Because it's low-key, like. What's cannabis? Who's cannabis? So cannabis was a rapper, a, lyrical rapper. Mm -hmm. They're on the same song. And so LL Cool J has cannabis. Like, they're, they're, they're rapping. And LL Cool J has a tattoo of a microphone on his arm. And so in Cannabis's verse, he's like, I'll take that, like, pass me the mic on your arm, like something along those lines. Like, pass me the mic on your arm. He added that into his being, verse. Being nice, but like Yeah, just homage, like paying homage, because like, this is like, dude, I wish I could be like you. At that time, let's think of it like can, uh, LL Cool J was huge, like Drake huge, right? And so it's like, man, a rapper's on his, on a Drake song. Oh, hey, bro, like, like I'm going to take the tattoo off your arm and, and like rap or whatever. LL Cool J didn't like that. So he's like, remove that verse, change it. So cannabis is like, oh yeah, bro, my bad. Like I did not mean to like like disrespect you. He changed his verse. He didn't have that on it anymore. But now when LL Cool J does his verse, he disses cannabis. And he literally is something about like you can never I don't know what the words are exactly. Let's pull up the the cannabis in LL Cool J song. So like oh, you could never take this um, mic off my arm. Something like, like that. And it's like, so first of all, you didn't like my verse. I was paying homage to you. You made me take it out, and then you diss me. And I changed my whole verse for you. So yeah, it was like scandalous. Yeah, and it was like, what the hell? Like, why would you do Mama that? Mama Nation, Mama Nation. And then Cannabis <laughs> didn't know until the song dropped that that happened that He's way. He's getting dissed <laughs> on that shit. And that to him, it was really sad because, like, damn, I really got on this song because I was going to pay homage to you and I wanted to just, like, buy off. Like, I wanted to do that. You made me change the shit. And then you make me change the shit and then you change your verse to diss me on the same song that we're on. It's me It's messed up. It's messed up. I know Ella Cool is a legend, but legends do some shady stuff sometimes. Yeah, and why was he pouring uh, hot fudge all over girls' knees on the street in all those videos and shit? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. People that be on Twitter a lot know what I'm okay. talking about. <laughs> and he responded to it. Because there's like a whole like two-minute clip of him just doing very wild things in music. The first videos. time I ever... The first, sorry, go ahead, go ahead. No, I was just... And then he responded to it, and he was just like, yo, I lived a wild life. It was pretty funny, though. So I want to go um, to the, what, that's the cannabis line, not the, not the LL Cool J. The, the first LL Cool J line I ever heard was when the game was like, I just think I asked to for love LA. That was, that was this in LL Cool J? No. No. He was just paying homage. Bro, Rock the Bells, uh, Currency, and like Wiz, I saw them, they performed like at 12, and then now they, they headline shit. Yeah. So that's just crazy for Rock shit the Bells. Like that. Pay dues. They I were seen the first Kendrick. Act. I seen Dom perform at Pay Dues. Oh Early. my God, that's Odd so Future. crazy. Odd Future, Mac Miller. Oh my God, it would be the best day ever. I saw Mac Miller, and then next, I next to him was Mob Deep. I seen ASAP Yams at Pay Dues. Wow, that was pretty dope. The symbol on my arm is off limits to challengers. You hold the rusty swords. I swing like Excalibur. How dare you step up in my dimension? Your little ass should be somewhere crying on detention. Watch your mouth, mouth better yet hold your tongue. I'm gonna do this shit for free this time. This one's for fun. Blow you to pieces, leave you covered in feces with one thesis. Every little boy wanna pick up the mic and try to one, run with the big boys and live up to the real hype. But that's like picking up a ball, playing with Mike. Yeah, but you get it? Like, he's literally going yeah, off of the yeah. mic, arm reference, yeah. the mic. And so Inspired his whole verse. when Cannabis heard this, only he knows the verse that was thrown away. So he's like, why is this guy coming at me? I changed the verse. And then later someone leaked the Cannabis OG verse, and then everyone understood why the beef. It was just some, some real hip-hop shit then, went Yeah, down. and then Cannabis did his own second-round knockout. Se second-round KO? Yeah, second-round KO. Yeah. Cannabis was fire. Oh, Kuji sounds like a fucking dickhead. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, anybody who pours chocolate syrup on people. You know. 
public. I'm just going to ride with Guerrilla Union on this one. Guerrilla Union! Nice. I know they've made mistakes. I know it didn't even end well for them either. But what the memories I have from Rock the Bells yeah. are Facts. priceless. Facts. Like Those are some of the best memories I've ever had that really made you love hip-hop even more. We for sure would have hosted hip-hop. We for sure would have hosted a Rock the Bells. Oh, yeah, we would have hosted a stage. Oh, my God. Hell, yeah. Brown backstage. Facts. Hip-hop, hip-hop. Shout out to you, homies. The ones I know. What up, Chang? (laughs) (laughs) What was his face? (laughs) You know what? I also love... Girly Union, real quick, I'm get off my hip hop stuff. I know I get too in, into oh, they it. love it. But Chang started off doing magazines. Like he just wanted to do a magazine for LA stuff. And then it little by little it went from a magazine to like, let me do showcase. To showcase, let me do festival. And a lot of this is learning on the job. A lot of this, there's there's no mentor in this. So you're gonna F up and unfortunately on the bit like once you got this thing to like be the biggest it has been. You're the guinea pig. You are the, gonna yeah. be the the trailblazer. That's what's gonna happen. Um, but I just I love that come up of I'm just a hip hop head and I want to show love and this how I'm gonna do it and then it ended up to be something that rocked the bells which gave us pay dues. Also shout out to Merz because what he did with pay dues that was incredible. like ten it was like ten years yeah, about yeah ten years they, did, years they put in a lot. So of I remember work. when when I first heard because I'm a partner and I was like oh shit I was like young I was like oh Merz yeah yeah. My sister's a big fan of him. Wow. My sister Cookie, she, you know what I mean? But obviously his biggest song is that song, but when she played it, I was like, oh my God. Yeah, I like this. All right, enough of that. Let's big up our homegirl and brown bag baddie, Yasmina. Yeah! You gotta come over here. You fool. have to meet her. Yasmina, you have to come over here. Take Edgar out his spot. Damn. Damn. He's a Clipper fan anyway. <laughs> He's a cheese head anyway. Not a head. He's a key of driver anyway. <laughs> okay. Yasmina is important and on? special. Yeah, not only is she Close like a photographer, mic. she is, again, like, she is inspirational. Not just her, her and her crew. They did something incredible. You're not going to believe what they did when I tell you. <laughs> they ran all the way from Santa Monica Pier to Las Vegas, Nevada. That's insane. When I brought it up, they're like, wait, they ran? Yeah. The whole way. Nonstop. Nonstop. So it's a relay, yeah. eight of us. And so somebody was running at all times. So no sleep, just vibes. Yeah, oh, <laughs> just vibes. Yeah. Did you have a headphones on when you ran? No, it's it was a lot of my segments were in the dark, like pitch black. Oh. I could see the stars. So I didn't have headphones on because in the case anything happened, like right. I needed to be able to hear. Yeah. I would hear everything. But not even like one? Like No, but during the day, yeah. Like the first day, I definitely wore headphones and yeah. made a whole playlist for it. Oh, she dude. just had to be more aware of her surroundings. But at yeah. night, yeah. And you guys are girls. And we are girls, yes, yeah. Yes, of course. So it was like a whole thing. Can you give us like three songs that you were maybe listening to on your playlist? She loves Chalino. Mm, was Chalino I, on it? Chalino was definitely yeah. on it. Hey. Like fucking so, Neves and Nero? Too? Neves and Nero is my oh, favorite song. Fire. I also oh. like Anastasio Pacheco. That's my favorite Chalino song. Wow. wow. Super good. Okay. And then um, I had other stuff to hype me up. Like my number one para song is Jump Off by Lil' Kim. Wow. Hey. Okay. So, uh, Talk about it. No. Yeah. No. no, it's like it's hood, but vibe, like vibe. celebration. Yeah. I get hype. Right here, of though. course, Nipsey. And then um, I also really like the, I don't know, I think it's Mustard. And I don't know, one of his, ten sum, off 10 summers. Oh, oh nice. Okay, but yeah. okay. mm-hmm. That's awesome. Because when you brought the, when you said this, you're the first, you guys are the, f- and shout out to Girl Gang, Girl Gang Crazy. That's the crew mm-hmm. that went GGC. first black and GGC. brown. Full black and brown crew of black and brown women that did it. It's a white people shit, yeah. Like, yeah. Definitely a lot of white people. <laughs> when she yeah. walked in, we're like, why the fuck you do it? <laughs> She's like, some white people shit. Some white people <laughs> shit. Yeah. Literally. Yeah. I want to ask the obvious question that our mm-hmm. listeners are going to ask. Like, why did you do this? Mm-hmm. Literally just for bragging rights. I think my home, I actually, one of my homegirls, Mariah, she's done it before. And I think I remember seeing like the whole journey and I hit her up while she was on the journey last year or t- 2019 or something mm-hmm. like that because of COVID, everything stopped. Right. Um, and I was like, we need to do this. Like, we need to do this. And then she would be like, okay, let's just plan it out. And then when it came up, I think we started training in January. And then all of a sudden, it was March. And we had to go and we had to do it. 
the last Damn. week I couldn't eat anything. Wow. Like I was so nervous of what was gonna happen. Yes, Ron was like, "It's cool if you can." I'm like, "No, I gotta do it." But like, and the it was a lot. And the first thing you did when you got to Vegas was drink a Modelo. There we go. Hey, it's Modelo my girl time. Right here. It's Modelo, Modelo time. So I bought a, a 12 pack. Okay, oh, I shit. like Modelo in the can. Mm -hmm. So I bought a 12 pack at Target here in LA, and I made a, at my all my. We were an RV, so, mm -hmm. like, it's limited space. And all my homegirls was like, you can't just buy it out there? I'm like, no. It's like the, like, what is it, the traveling a pack of 12, the uh, traveling 12 pack. I was like, I have to do it. They didn't let me put it in the fridge because it was taking up space. And then I told Ron, I think, I was like, please put my modelos on ice right before we get there. I think it was, like, right. 6 in the morning. Wow. And I was like, Ron, I need you to hand me one as soon, but you got to drink one, too, as soon as we get there. I think we got there at, like, 8.30 in the morning, and the first thing Ron did was... My thing is though like <laughs> I'm I'm not even surprised. I mean I'm surprised that you fucking ran for fucking right. no reason. Uh -huh. Literally like, no reason. <laughs> like it's just it's just, <laughs> just to see like yeah, what No, no, but I love I love the cause I know it's deeper than that. I know it's like, deeper, I, yeah. I know you're just clowning right, and talking right. shit, but <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's deeper. Like it's something that right. um Black and brown women have never done yeah, before. Never. It was really inspirational. I was watching this in real time. So just seeing them run on There's the There's a clip story. of this. Yeah. Well, we no. were posting on Instagram, like Instagram stories. Yeah. We had like a whole content team that came with us. Yeah. Wow. It was tight. It was I need to really watch tight. this shit. It was yeah, really we're going to have a recap video. There's a brand that like did everything for us, but I'll definitely send it. Nice. That's fire. fire. It, was a, it was a lot. And Ooh. seeing that it is, it, and that's low-key why white people do it. Like, like it's like, damn, I wonder how, if I could do this. And that's inspiration in itself. Like, this is a human person mm -hmm. running from freaking Santa Monica to Vegas. It's, fucking... It seems like it. Do, you, no one would ever think to do that, but it happens. And that's so bomb. And then I think of, like, our Aztec ancestors, and they're like, yeah, we should do this for fun. Let's go run to the next pyramid yeah. or run to whatever. Yeah. Uh, I think a lot of the fans probably be like, or, I mean, I'm probably, probably not because shout out to Brownback Baddies and the Foods, but, like, <laughs> like the fact that the first thing you did after running for fucking Modelo time. How many days was it? It was two and uh, two. Uh, it was 50 hours. 53 mm. hours so exactly. Two, uh, a, a few but hours. the yeah. whole time, the only thing that I know this sounds crazy. Shut up, sorry, mom. But like the whole time I was like, I cannot wait to drink Modelo. I didn't, I like didn't have alcohol for a whole <laughs> yeah. week. And, then, and, and I immediately was like, I need, that's the first thing I bought before I bought any of my snacks. Damn. I bought a 12 pack. I of let up because, <laughs> because my homies will be like, after this, we got older, but like, we'll be like, finish bottling up. We're kicking in the sun hitting us, and I'm like, oh yeah, my water, my gator, and the homies like, you know, yeah, yeah. 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 That's yeah. I mean, like, boom, what? <laughs> and be like, all right, fuck, come on, let's run it, run it, run it, run it, run it yeah. back, run it back. It's more like, refreshing after you've really worked for it. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, and, and so it was intense. How do you feel now? Like, mm -hmm. do you feel a sense of you accomplishment? Do you feel like you're able to climb Mount Everest? Do you now? feel like, like ain't no other human got shit on you? Yeah. I feel like I can do absolutely anything. Yes, yeah. that's what it's for. That's what it's for, dog. Yeah, that's a deeper meaning. I feel like because there's literally nothing. We ran to Vegas. Like so it took me a little bit to sink in because yeah. it was like lack of sleep, lack of food. Like yeah. I had to like slowly get into it. And as soon as we got there, it was like a party. Yeah. So nice. I think it was like modelos, and then we went to the club, and then we had like a like, kettle one dinner, and so it was like drinking like immediately as soon as we got that's there. Awesome. Hella well deserved. Well deserved no. though. Well deserved, but <laughs> hella fella. Like yeah. I was tired. Can I ask that's you a question real quick? Yeah. For are, for are you a hockey? Yes. I fucking knew it. <laughs> you know why I knew it? You look exactly like my homegirl I went to high school with. Really? And you being Oaxacan just shows your fucking, like, it's okay, people don't believe this, right? Because, I, I mean, people don't believe this. I, just, you know? I, I grew up, I, I don't know if you know what city I'm from. But Pico Union? No, no, no. DF. No, 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 no. I'm from Echo downtown Park. LA. Okay. Downtown Los Angeles, where, beside Pico Union, Echo Park in Westlake. Um, I went to school. We went to school. Our, mm -hmm. Everything's Latino mm -hmm. when it comes to, like, because because so fucking when I'm on Instagram and I see, like, oh, brown excellence, like, yeah. I, I've seen it my whole life. When it mm -hmm. comes to girls I went to middle school with that went to fucking Berkeley on a fucking fool's, like, shit like that, right? But I went to school with some girl. I'm having a brain uh, a brain freeze right now, but the she's the homegirl. I've talked to her. I follow her and everything. She's Oaxacan, and they have, like, this club at Berkeley, and they're, like, very for the oh. people, and she's for, like, the oh, gente. Oh, so the Oaxacans are the best of us? They're, like, they're very, they're very, they're very, passionate. They're very passionate. passionate. Oh, no, they're, very passionate. Yeah. they're the scholars of the Mexicans. I think so, 100%. Yeah. They're the really poet, hard working yeah. people. The, the poet, well, we all are, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, you know, to it. But, but I'm going to get the flowers. I'm going to get the flowers because, like, the homie, the poet is Oaxacan, just like you, and he's very 
very like always like motivating. Like man, today I'm a for he's a barber. He's like mm-hmm. today I'm a cut like um. 10 haircuts instead of nine on this Saturday. And he's like, but just like, I remember she used to like lead like the immigration walk at our school because yeah, we, we, we yeah. do a lot of things. So just, I just automatically mm-hmm. you're walking. Wow. Yeah. yeah so my parents are in Oaxaca right now. Shout out to my oh, parents. Wow. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Oaxaca's perfect. I'm not a fan of y'all tees. I'm a fan of your uh, mole though. The mole is uh, The mole is yeah. good. Yeah. 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 But yeah, I just have to throw that out there. I'm sorry. It's all good. I have a question. It was was there like any animals that came? Like I'm scared of coyotes, snakes, um, tarantulas, cacti, even though they're not animal, right. but so they had said that there was like chances of rattlesnakes and stuff like that. So like there was like this big messaging app that everybody was on it, all the teams. And it was like, make sure you bring like anything that could help in the night. Cause the night segments are, you're in the dark. Like, you yeah. know, it's, it's desert. pitch black. It's pitch black. Um, so, but we didn't run into anything. There was one segment. I was so tired and there was like an old tire. And I remember like running, the car was running behind me. So the lights were like help shining the road or whatever. And I remember being like, what is that? And then the guy who was driving the car. He was right next to me. He's like, you talking about the tire? <laughs> and I was like, that should look like something else, yeah. you know? But no, no animals. We did come up with like a couple hiccups of like stuff, like people really. That's the one thing that we kind of overlooked. There was like a little segment where um, we were kind of getting bullied by people in the town oh, where they were like no. running us off the road. Yeah. But you know, uh, like it makes you really realize. Was like, it on some like, racist it was, stuff? I, I, um, or just we, we don't want I wanna you here? Say, I want to say it was just, uh, I don't you're want thinking you here. better. Yeah. But yeah. I want to say that like nobody else probably dealt with that, you know? Because yeah. Because, like, uh, obviously, we talked to a lot of the other runners, and they were just like, yeah, well, we saw it, but, like, nothing. But we were getting, like, chased. It was intense. Damn. Yeah, two in the morning. Like, Damn. That, that, that makes you run a little yeah. faster. Yeah, Connor exactly. People, get out of here. Oh, my God. <laughs> no, that's yeah. Where was it? Victorville? It was Victorville, huh? No. Was it Dead Valley? <laughs> it was, uh, I think it was, Baker's like, ba- I think it was, like, Baker. Oh. Damn. Baker. Baker, you're letting us down, fools. You know what it is? Let's, let's give them the, maybe they're mad that you just ran through their city. Maybe. They didn't want to kick Maybe, it. and it was two in the morning. <laughs> you know, people, you know. They should be happy anybody who ran through that. Yeah. Dump. Right? Yeah. Anyway. But, yeah, um, so that was the only little intense little hiccup. But other than that, it was, like, smooth sailing. We didn't really see any animals. One of the girls said that she saw, like, a dead carcass, but, like, like live that's animals? What, no. Yeah, like roadkill. Roadkill, mm-hmm. yeah. yeah. I love that for you. Fool. No, I, that's, I love that's that. I think that's super special. And, and honestly, like, clearly that's a lot. But I want to, I don't know if you guys do run meetups or if you guys are doing anything mm. in the future, but definitely let us know because that just is inspiring to even just yeah. go out with you and, and yeah. do something like that. And so, I don't know if I'm running with you from Santa Monica to Vegas, no, but not, I'm for sure, like, yeah, go like for if a they workout. do, like, yeah. Yeah. around yeah, the Silver Lake thing. Yeah, yeah but the if you were there, Silver Lake like, Reservoir. Hey, dude, no, you want to fuck? No, just, just, yeah. just already come here. He's out. going to the gym, so yeah. don't yeah. let him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm going to come back to you in like a week or so. I'll see how you're feeling. But yeah, so we do do runs and stuff like that. It always helps when guys come out because we're all girls all the time yeah uh but yeah whenever that's fine i'll let you know girl gang crazy on instagram i have one more question yes where to next Ooh. Mm -hmm. so i want to run i don't know if i want to run la but i want to run the hawaii marathon it's in december wow um it's, you gonna out, run there? it's an out and back. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. It, it's an out and back because, you know, the island is so small. Yeah. But um, it's I don't know. It's the mental of running. That's the hard part. Yeah. You know, like physically your body can do whatever you want. But like mm-hmm. mentally, it's literally like that's draining. You. Yeah. yeah. And like seeing people out, out, like the out and back has always been something where I've kind of been scared because like you're barely running and people are already running back like that will fuck your mental up, yeah. you know. So um, I hope to get mentally strong enough to do that in December. And then, yeah. I think that's what's next. Yasmina from Oaxaca. Chalino Sanchez fan. (laughs) And to all the other brown bag baddies, brown bag foods, you guys can do it too. Yeah. Yeah. But you, you're not Yasmin either. Yeah. Like, no, she's, you know, she's, she's, she's better than us. She's from Oaxaca. What you can do. Yeah. You can do anything. I love that. I already made it. That's awesome. Shout out Yasmin. Thanks, y'all. Yeah. Thanks, y'all. Okay. We're going to put your IG and everything like in our description Bum. and all that. And Girl Gang Crazy, please, because those are my girls. Yeah. Yes. Okay. And in this week's Edgar Report. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom, boom. So usually. Uh, I get a lot of content sent to me. It's a lot of times it's from the food community page. It's a good page that has a lot of good content that just like keeps you up with the culture and everything. The person who runs the page, uh, well, I don't want to say his name, but he actually posted about seven days ago that he is in the hospital. It's not looking too good for him. And 
there has been no activity on the food community page since. So just, you know, prayers up to him because, you know, he's actually a vital part of the food community, literally created the page. And I feel like nobody else is maybe going to report on this or anything, but look, prayers up to the homie. Hope you get better. And as well, we're also going to, um, wait, what's the next one? Sorry, I can't remember. The next one is the female, um, Edgar it's not Kutz. Edgar Kutz. Oh, yeah. Kutz. Okay, so. Girlfriends of the Edgars. But real quick, um, I want to give a yeah. shout out to the Food Community IG page just because I think, yeah, a lot, fucking, a, a lot of it is comedy, but a lot of rappers do get a lot of followers and their music get played just because he reports on a lot of things that maybe hip-hop things won't do just because of the certain look or whatever. But shout out to the Food Community. Hope you get better. Hope you're doing better if you see this and keep doing your thing, Bob. Facts. Yeah. I don't know if there's a lot of Food Community like... Um, pages. Yeah, like fake pages because they're just that influential that people yeah. want to just. A lot of it yeah. inspired a lot of people to start their own. Yeah, it's like Planet of the Fools. There's like all types of. Different I wonder what came first, Fool Community or Fools Gone Wild? Mm, I think it's Fool Community. I think Fool Community was yeah. first. Really? Yeah, because yeah. yeah. Fools Gone Wild made sure to do something like that, but all like original content. I wonder. Yeah. I I feel like Fools Gone Wild is first. Really? Mm. Yeah. I respect both. They love both. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they're different, too. Yeah. So, shout out to them. Yeah. But this new cut. I'm yeah. Gonna... So, there's a new cut that uh, a lot of young Latina women are doing. And it's so, it's funny because it's, like, low-key. So, they're yeah. cutting. They're getting a fade in the back of their hair <laughs> like an Edgar. <laughs> it's a reverse Edgar. Yeah, it's a reverse Edgar. It looks like everything is normal up here in the front, even in the back. But if you peek under... And she has the lineup back here and a fade, she might be with an Edgar. And then my thing is though, like, it's one of those things where like have you seen those movies where like they're looking for the avatar and maybe they're like hiding something and it's like a code, it's like oh, she's yeah. part of that. It's like a barcode or something, <laughs> yeah. like back then. So shout out all the so if your son comes home with a girl, check her haircut. No. If yeah, you, you have a daughter. And she's dating an Edgar. Check the back of her head. Lift up her hair. That'll that'll tell you all <laughs> you need to know, brother. Have her go up in his ponytail. Yeah, if she if she smells like a uh, mamalona and she has, smells like diesel fuel oh and gosh. shit, and like all the signs point to she's with the Edgar. Or and that's happened before. So my sister always did crazy stuff with her hair. Like she's always different color hair. She I remember she did like a star back here, and girls have done hearts, but this oh, is definitely like a fade type of situation, yeah. right? Didn't you say? Yeah, my sister did it. She did a little uh, diamond in the back. Really? Yeah, like yeah. it used to be like, like shapes. Like last yeah. week? Yeah. No, a couple, couple years ago. Oh, you're talking okay, okay. to because you can't just bring oh, sorry. up. Oh, true. My mommy's here. Sorry. sorry. Yeah. Sombra yeah, Sala. Sombra Sala, guys. I love this fucking segment you this guys went with. Awesome. I'm trying to segment. put you on game on what's happening in the Latino trap, you know, community. Give it to us. All right. So, um, have you guys heard of Anuel and Jailene's new song? Of course, that's been our, our, our he's, he's, well, you've heard, you know Anuel, closely. if you don't know Anuel yeah. from his music, you know from the scandals with yeah. Jailene, but they dropped a music video. Together. 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 And I don't like it, but you guys, you guys as it. in Vic and Duna. Yes. Yeah. You as in Vic and Duna loved it. Um, um, I don't right? say love. Love, love, for love is a strong word. It is. Okay, okay. <laughs> but 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 I am, I'm not opposed to it. Why? I'm like I'm like okay with, but ah, fuck. No, what Angie? Fuck, you got me right there. What's the song called? Si tú me buscas, right? I have it there. Yeah, si tú me buscas. Si tú me buscas video. The video's not bad. The song is not bad, but with Jailene, it's like, ugh, itala. But Dick said something dope off camera. He said not dope, but it just makes sense. Like you're. Oh, what was the word? Bichota? Yeah, bichota. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> that means she's a Carol G fan. She's a Carol G, she's a Carol G fan. But I'm not dissing Anuel. I'm, I'm just saying Jailene. Like, the song was good without Jailene. Like, put someone else. You have nothing, Natasha. You have other people. Why her? Because that's his boot thing. He's trying to yeah, elevate yeah, her. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because if she gets a bag, he gets a bag. Right. True. And he did sign her to his record. Oh, he, oh, he signed uh, her? Oh, he Real dipped the pen in the company. Hey, yeah, está bien embrujado. Wow. Real hasta la muerte, papi. He signed her? She Let's just bad. hope yeah. that it works. Because if it doesn't, He's gonna they're shove screwed. Her ass. Do you think and there are contracts now involved. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You can't leave me, motherfucker. They're screwed, getting shelved. Dude. Yep. That is, see, I didn't know he signed her. Yeah, yeah, they had like a whole post about it, and ugh. and I just hope that that's what Yaelin did. She wish did she do music before? 
Um, I googled it and apparently, yeah, she oh, has. Okay, so okay, that makes more sense. Then if he's just making his uh, his girls just started rapping now. No, no, yeah, I think she was in music before. Okay. She was like it, a dancer and she's in music. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But now so, she's elevated Jailene because Anuel is what one of the top five. Latin uh, artist? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm asking. No, I'm asking. Yeah, no, no, he is. He is. He's okay. up there. He's okay. pretty. Yeah. Mo- he's, he's known. And then he, um, I just think she came into her career wrong. I think the minute you got a chance, you should have. I mean, I get it. Defend yourself because I know Carol G came out here first, right? Obviously. Uh, no. Or, or, them? No. 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 Nobody did. It was just them being ugh, them like PDA so all it's, over. It's 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 the but, syndrome of like. He was in a public relationship with mm-hmm. a humongous Latin pop star. Yeah. And, and now he's with another now girl. Now he's with another girl. And people just automatically music. don't okay. like her. So They're pitting them against each other immediately. Pretty much. So what happened is that Carol G was at a concert que se cayó. So Anuel went there. Yeah. And then two weeks later or so, he's like in love with Jailene. So it's like how it just started was really like shady. Oh, but so see, though, so that's my like thing. That. My thing is like. And that, that's more Anuel's bad than it is yeah. Yaelene's so bad. Yeah. Yeah. We're not I'm looking sorry. at him bad. That's what's messed oh, up. I, I am. I t- <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Hey, hey but sometimes. Because you were hey. just saying, Anuel, you oh, like no, the it. Song, the yeah. song is good. Oh, okay. I'm just saying. Love but is a crazy drug. Sometimes you do fall in love in a week. You know what I'm saying? True. Yeah. yeah. Um, it's fun. For songs, okay. The song's cool. I don't know. I think it's just I'm her voice is annoying. But she, I'll tell you this. Mm-hmm. She's not Karol G. She's not. She's not a big She's not a Karol G. She's, She's not. Sure not so in comparison, because people are going to obviously compare, it's like it's not And contest. I hate that. I hate that they always pin them to each other. It's like, why? They're completely different. They're not at the same fucking level. No. One's starting her career, one's like in One has blue prime. hair, one is, you know. One is what? <laughs> say it. Say La it. Mas viral. <laughs> oh, no, that's yeah, her, like her thing is like, like. La Mas Viral. Yeah, yeah no, pretty Cloud much. Based. But yeah, literally, yeah. that's her name, Jailina Mas Viral on yeah. IG. But speaking of Carol G. Um, yeah, so Carol G actually featured them on their music video. Uh, the allegedly. mommy no i'm pretty sure you and guys she, i'm she, pretty sure no but like it's not official they didn't it's say not, no it's it's carol g cartoon. didn't say okay right. this happened so um becky g and carol g dropped the uh lyric video for so, mommy mommy and you know how we were talking about like oh it's carol g talking about um anuel on like that song. De the pat, that, yeah. right mm-hmm. and i'm like yes fool but okay so on this lyric video it's like lyrics but with cartoons and so on uh, carol g's part she pretty much um, put Anuel there. There's an animation. Yeah, yeah there's of like a whole animation of it. A picture that yeah. has been circulating online, or two pictures. Yeah, yeah. and it's uh, pretty much, you can tell it's Anuel and Jailene getting well, married. It looks very similar. The, the cartoon Jailene is way fine, like different looking. <laughs> it's than, a bug. Than the well, you know why? Because it looks like they're getting married, and then the whole like, yeah. oh, esposa, esposa thing going on between uh, Jailene. Um, What's his face? Um, Anuel and Jailene. Mm. And then the second one, I think that was funny that she's pretty much like Same clowning guy. his hairline. Clowning his, his hairline. Yeah. Damn. Which everyone does. Yeah. Wow. That's crazy. Damn. Shout out Carol G. Yeah, shout out to her because so I the, think she's over him too. So she's throwing, but in that song, she's obviously throwing Sombra. Heck yeah. Super shade. And let her be. Déjala. Yeah. She got a new boo. And, yeah, allegedly, allegedly rumors started on que Twitter. Con la comadre. Yeah. <laughs> that uh, she might be dating Fade, F-E-I-D. And they have a song together called Freaky. Reggaeton upon a freaky. Okay. You mean they get after sex? Uh, so. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> it's just a thought when you, when you think about all these things. Hmm. I just, I, I'm, I'm here for, like, the whole, it seems like the whole, like, Latino trap scene and everything reggaeton is like a big novella i love like it interchangeable yeah. pieces like okay now oh you're gonna do a song with this person i'm gonna do a song with my new boo da, 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 yeah. like i'm all like for it new characters keep entering yeah the chat because these documentaries cool. in 10 years are gonna be fucking amazing oh for sure so i'm for it yeah, shout out angie shout out thank you angie for sombra sala and all the juice follow the sombra sala ig yeah it's yeah. gonna be active I we're gonna start to put a lot of content on yeah that. Yeah. There you go. That's what's going on in the world of Latin trap. What's going on in the world? Okay. Um, let's do CNR and be out of here, baby boys. So uh, apparently Burger King is getting sued up the butthole, right? Because of false advertising. Oh, yeah. um, 
that's neither here nor there. They also posted something. This is how it makes sense. They posted their own version of CNR. How dare they? No, it was, what was their version of CNR? No. 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 What was the? They called it something like. It was uh, like, no. Div? No. Oh. It was like. Date, div. marry, or something. Oh. Pull, pull that up. It it's was an F, marry, kill. It was, it's literally on the same caption. You guys. It's on the, yeah. That's it's on Instagram. They did their own CNR? Mm-hmm. Well, we copied CNR. <laughs> did we? Yeah, CNR a is a play off of F, Mary Kill. But I just wanted to make it. It's um, Date, Mary Ditch. Yep, Date, Mary Ditch. So they did Date, Mary Ditch. Date, Mary Ditch. <laughs> on nuggets, mozzarella sticks, and onion rings. So we're going to do CNR with it. Carnes Alanino Rival. Nuggets. Mozzarella sticks and onion rings. It doesn't have to be Burger King. That's just where we got it from. This, but just this. think nuggets in general, mozzarella sticks in general, onion rings in general. I'm ready Carne for it. Carnesada Nino Rival. I'll go first. Go. Nino Nuggets. You can't go wrong with chicken nuggets. I love chicken nuggets. You feel me? Even though I can't eat them. <laughs> but <laughs> chicken nuggets for sure are my Nino. Mm-hmm. Uh, mozzarella sticks are my carne asada just because I fuck with him. But not always. Sometimes they be too hot to burn my mouth. And then onion rings are my rival just because I'm not a big fan of onion. Mm. Yeah. I would do the same thing. Onion rings, I just have never, n- there's never been an onion ring that I've liked. Really? And I think I've had the Carl's Jr. onion rings. Those are trash. And those are like huge onion rings. I have them at B dubs. They're pretty good. B dubs. B dubs are pretty Buffalo cool. Wally? Buffalo Wild Wings. Oh, okay. And then mozzarella sticks are bomb. Um, but they're not chicken nuggets. So you're going to be just um, kind of sad just on the fact that you're not chicken nuggets. Chicken nuggets, holy grail. Nino, I liked you even when McDonald's had all these <laughs> weird parts that were chewy inside the chicken nugget. The little, <laughs> all of that. Whatever that was in the 90s, still ate it. Still bomb. Thanks. You're my Nino. What about you? Wasn't it weird when they were like, now using real meat or what? Yeah, it's like, whoa. <laughs> well, what the fuck were now? we eating before? <laughs> <laughs> was it me? <laughs> yeah. Um, all right, so, man, I, I'm honestly going to say I like all three of these a lot. Wow. But if I had to choose, I would say mozzarella sticks got to be my Nino. Fucking love mozzarella sticks. And then I didn't used to like onion rings, but those onion rings from B-dubs change my outlook change on Change your them. mind. So I would say that's carne asada. Wow, chicken yeah. nugget turning rival, Chicken dog. nuggets is my rival. That's crazy. That's his rival. Not you. What? You have a chicken nugget. I know. No, I'm not saying the, the, the food. Chicken your chicken nugget is your... No, she's not my rival. No, I'm just saying wow. the food. Wow. <laughs> is this a subliminal? Carol no. G, calm down. <laughs> I no. Know, relax. Wow. It's the food. It's Honestly, wow. chicken, the chicken nuggets can't even compare to my His. chicken nugget. You know what I'm saying? I thought it was going to be a yeah, bar. Yeah, I thought, I it, thought it was like, it was like, Ooh. Thanks for tuning in to this episode. <laughs> we'll see yeah, you guys onion next episode. Onion rings are great. Brown bag. Brown, Brown bag. bag. Out. We out.